Shard light. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I have been waiting all day to start this game. I am so excited to get into this. It's a post-apocalyptic point-and-click adventure. That seems to be a common theme now. We went to uh, from Primordia to Shardlight, and then uh, Techno Babylon isn't really post-apocalyptic, but still futuristic. So uh, I'm just gonna get right into it. November 9th. The world ended 20 years ago today. What a strange, awful anniversary to celebrate. 20 years. And this city is still in ruins. Twenty years. And the citizens are still dying on the streets. Twenty years. And I'm no closer to fixing my mistake. As I look on the horizon today, I see many laborers going to their lottery jobs. They cling to hope that the ticket they earn will win them the vaccine they need to survive. Green Lung continues to take lives every day. But the people of this town are stubborn, resilient. They refuse to give up in the face of death. All right, so it's post-apocalyptic in the horrible plague way, not in nuclear war. <coughs> oh, it stinks down here. Hopefully dealing with the reactor won't take too long. Left click to interact, select inventory items, right click to examine or deselect inventory items. All right. <clears throat> so right away, same sort of uh, awesome graphics that I've come to expect from all the Wadjet games. I just, I love their art style from all of the ones that I've played so far. Uh, it is so cool, like the little uh, shard like the broken glass of pain looking uh, pop up there at the bottom. I don't suppose you've seen a reactor around here. <laughs> yeah. uh, I guess not. Alright. <clears throat> this chick's looking pretty sane already, talking to corpses. Speed, intake, and exhaust. Is this a... Oh, okay. That's off. Has it said what we need to do with the reactor? Maybe we should actually go. Whoa, shit! I'm starting to see why this was a lottery job. This better be worth it. Okay. We're fine. <laughs> I shouldn't get too close. It's not stable. So, is it not gonna let me uh, go underneath? What is that? A vent. Okay. I don't have anything in my inventory yet. It would probably just disintegrate in my hands if I peeled it off. Gotta be extra careful, make sure I don't miss anything. We all know me, I miss stuff that's super obvious. And then I get stuck on it for like 30 minutes going, why can't I figure oh this out? <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Pretty Took sure. you long enough. I thought I was raving food. It's only been, uh, what, a day now? We need to get you out of here. Hey, 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 calm down, kid. I'm fine where I am. Uh... Looks like your guts are hanging out, dude. I don't think you're okay. Who are you? They didn't tell you? I'm afraid not. Uh, typical. Aristocrats don't give a rat's ass about anyone else till their lights go out. I'm sorry, I don't quite follow. Did Tiberius send you to fix the reactor? Yes. Oh, I see. I'm your replacement, <laughs> aren't I? It would seem so. Certainly hope you have better luck than I did. All right, you stay right don't there. Move. I'll be back. Your sense of humor needs some work, kid. <laughs> All right, so what is wrong with him? Is it just a giant rock? He's been crushed under some rubble. It doesn't look good. Doesn't look like an, I can interact with the rubble itself. That man needs help. 
I'll come back. Okay. That corpse is just... just looks like another soldier. Alright. Uh, so I'll probably need something to reach that. Radioactive sign. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it's it? securely fastened to the wall. Feels like it has been for several years. Go around looting some corpses. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <clears throat> it's all right. Extra power. He's got nothing else that can help me. So what do we got? A bolt. I wonder what those people were doing down here. Are these just all the previous uh, people who had this job? Whenever they die, they're just like, ah, send the next one down. That'll be okay. Um, can I use the bolt? I don't see how I. Nope. The water cools down the pipes that are connected to the reactor. Okay, so nothing that I can use to reach the skeleton so far, and I need some way to help this guy. Do I just put him out of his misery? That's not going. No. <laughs> hey, you gotta try, right? It's post-apocalyptic. I'm assuming their medicine isn't too good here. All right. <clears throat> I think I've interacted with everything so far. Radioactive. Someone has to die, right? I'm not just going to leave him. Oh, okay. So I can't even leave the room until I help this guy. Um, mister? Huh? So what happened to you? Are you blind, kid? I came down here. I was about to get the reactor running, and there was a tremor. All hell breaks loose, and now I'm crawling my way to the Reaper. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't be. Comes with the territory. But then, uh, you should know that, right? Anything I can do for you other than get all this rubble off of you? Is there anything you need? Anything I can help you with? Uh, I'm a dead man. Even if you went for help, I'd be gone by the time you got back. There's nothing at all? Can I do anything to make you more comfortable? You're nice, kid. Nice will get you killed. Just do your job. I'm not going anywhere. Don't move. I'll be back. Hmm. I'm not exactly going anywhere. Okay, so I guess I didn't actually need to help him before I did my job. I just had to ask him if he wanted me to help him before I did my job. Does anyone else think the wounded guy kind of looks like Charlie Sheen? Uh, I didn't notice. Let me see. Um, huh? don't move. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm not a yeah, kind of. Like, back in his uh, recent coke days. Okay, so we have... Oh, good! Numbers. We know that I'm great with numbers. Okay, so we have four digits. <clears throat> it's not budging. I don't know how to fix this on my... Zero to nine, of course. Okay, so it's single digits. Um, I guess we have to ask this guy and how to fix it. Hey, you're dying, but, um, you know, mister? <laughs> can you help us out here? I think this reactor needs a code, and I don't have it. Do you? You don't do this type of work often, do you? Not a reactor, no. I'm more experienced with cars, pumps, easy fixes. So a lottery worker, huh? Who's the vaccine for? Why do you care? Hang on. You look familiar. Do I know you? I'm a mechanic. I've got a shop just outside town. Maybe you came in. I knew a guy named uh, Cooper Wellard once. I had a shop around there. <clears throat> you related? He was my dad. What's it matter to you? You're Cooper's girl. <laughs> so do you even care about Tiberius? I care about getting medicine. You said you wanted to help me, right? Yes. Do you need anything? I do. And if it works out, you'll never have to work a lottery job again. Excuse me? You heard me. But first, I need to know you're serious about helping. Okay, so we don't know who Tiberius is, right? He said Cooper something. So we know Cooper. That's dad. I don't think we've, uh... We don't know who Tiberius is. Would have thought excessive amounts of cocaine would have made Charlie immune by now, because that's how it works, right? Yeah, you, you you do little amounts of cocaine first, and you build up a tolerance. It's like iocane powder. 
This sounds really sketchy. How do I know I'll be safe? I can't make any promises, but you're a Cooper's kid. If I can trust anyone to help me, it's you. Hmm. Okay, why not, right? We'll trust the random dying stranger in the, uh, nuclear reactor room. All right, I'll help you. Is that a promise? Yes. Thank you. Before my accident, I figured out that this reactor just needs a hard reset. To do that, you'll need to input the reset code, which is the unit serial number. Just find the compliance plate and you'll be good to go. By the way, how's your shooting? Could be worse, could be better. Then take this. A crossbow? <laughs> it's not like I need it anymore. I picked it up off that corpse over there. It hasn't got any bolts, but I see you already got one from that other body. Thanks. I'll see about getting that reactor started. Move the mouse cursor to the top of the screen to access the inventory in the game menu. Bah! Wait, <clears throat> where'd my bow go? It's the crossbow that I've got one. Oh, okay. So they kind of merged. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. So I can shoot the I skeleton? I can't just go around shooting everything I see. I have to conserve ammo. Fine, I'll be responsible-ish. Right. This reactor looks worse for wear. All right, so I need the serial from the compliance plate of this reactor. <clears throat> it's securely fast. Uh, I wonder if that was the other thing back here that we saw. This? It would probably just McTeague Maintenance Corp. There's a maintenance log underneath. The last inspection was 15 years ago. Okay, can you read it? McTeague, there's a Nope. <laughs> so while dying, he chose to keep a crossbow beneath his mangled and broken body? <laughs> that seems hella uncomfortable. Yeah, he was just kind of laying on it. He's like, oh, okay, by the way, here, have this. Okay, so we need to find a compliance plate. Aha! Uh, compliance. Jesus, that is so dark. It's too corroded to read. <clears throat> uh, I guess it's meant to do that. <laughs> I was like, wow, that is uh, not very good. Not really in the mood to electric. At least some power is on down here. Doesn't look very stable, though. Why the hell would a cultist come down here? Okay, so I need to find some way to clean the corrosion off of the compliance plate. It's a really old lamp. There's a wax candle inside. Maybe I can shoot that down. Hey. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> The candle might be useful. I'll take my bolt, too. Sounds like a good plan. I mean, the alternative was uh, just being like, meh. Right, that doesn't look like a candle. That looks like a stick of dynamite. I don't see how... An old emergency candle. Okay. So I can't use the sparks here to light this. Uh, okay, so I need a way to light the candle and... Maybe make a press, um, <clears throat> like a mold. Push the, the wax against the bevel, or bezel, whatever, bevel. Yeah, bevel, right? Against the bevel of the plate. That way I can pull it off and read it. Let's take a clue. This won't. Maybe, I don't know. Just kind of spitball in here. I should probably. All right. So we don't know what we're gonna do with the fan and stuff yet. That Can I leave? That technician does need help, but getting the- I should do as he says. Okay, so... Everything that I need is in here. So far. Alright, still nothing in the vent. <clears throat> I don't see anything specific I can interact with in the collapse rubble here. Make, there's a maintenance log on- Okay. 
I wonder what those people were doing down here. Hmm. All right. Um, I can't interact with the pipes at all. Can I use the candle on the crossbow? I don't crossbow? think I can load that. <laughs> to shoot the candle? I don't see how I can use that there. Um, okay. Maybe I can give the candle to this That's guy. That's not going. That corpse. That corpse. That corpse. Hmm. How do I get... Not exactly. The water cools... How do I get to that corpse I over don't there? See what this guy says again. Um, mister? <clears throat> I found the compliance plate, but it's too corroded to read. Oh, sure. I ran into my fair share of those. Good thing about those plates is the numbers are always embossed. I had this trick where you put some paper over the plate and rub it with a pencil so you can make out the numbers. I don't know where you'll be able to find one of those down here, but you might be able to uh, improvise something else. Don't move. I'll be back. I'm not exactly mm. going anywhere. Okay, so when we read the inspection log, we looked at it, she said that it would probably crumble. Maybe we take that inspection log off somehow, use that as a paper, use the candle as the uh, pencil. I'm assuming this is a plate, right? Radioactive. It's securely fastened to the wall. Yeah, I don't think that's paper. <clears throat> Let's see if we can take this. It would probably just disintegrate. Oh, she said it would disintegrate. Hmm. Okay, so we need some sort of paper to transfer the number onto. Uh, can we go out that now? Oh, I should... Okay. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else that we can do here. Maybe actually messing with the fan will do something to the rubble, like blow something down from the rubble area. Go back and use the candle to look at it again, then hover over the actual text with the candle. I think I tried that, but she said this nothing. Won't help yeah. You. This, this. I'm pretty sure I have to use the candle as the pencil, but I still need to put something on it to to transfer the numbers onto. So I'm gonna mess with this. Uh, turn this all the way up. Maybe that'll blow something off here. And open this. Aha! Yeah. Blank piece of paper. Let's take All right. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Good shit, Wadjet. I gotta be completing this now. All right, I would call that a victory. Two, seven, nine, four. Let's get this sucker reset. Two, seven, nine, four. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Good job. Now get over here. That was faster than I expected. Maybe there's still time to... Your optimism's cute, but I'm not going anywhere. Listen up, okay? This is how you can help me. Take this letter. It's going to Danton, in the Market District. You should be able to find the right place if you ask around. Danton? Who's that? I don't know anyone named Danton in the Market District. You'll figure it out. Look, it's very important to me, 
and to you that you deliver this letter. I... I understand. I'll take care of it. Great. Now for the second part of the deal. I need you to shoot me. In the head. Clean as you can. N no I, I can't. Uh -uh. I'm in a lot of pain, kid. Let me die with some dignity. There's no way I'd get fixed up in time. We both know it. I want to go out on my own terms. I don't know if I can. Buck up, kid. It's a hard world. And in order to survive, you gotta do lots of things you don't like. Reaper, be damned! Don't go out my own way! Please, let's just get this over with. In case you were wondering, this really hurts. Well, I see that because your insides are on your outside. Um, so... Here we go. Last chance. Are you sure about this? Completely. You can do it. <sighs> Goodbye, Charlie Sheen. One last thing. Y yes What was your name again? It's been so long since I heard Cooper talk about you. It's Amy. Amy. What's yours? Not important. It's for me. Beg your pardon? You asked before about my taking this job, who the vaccine was for. It's for me. I started feeling the symptoms about a week ago, and, well, I'm desperate. Ah, oh, shit. I'm so sorry. What's happening to you? What happened to your old man? Uh, it's not fair. You can make it right, Amy. Just deliver the letter, and everything will change. You'll see. Thank you. I wish you nothing but the best. What a cool intro. That was, that was neat. At least it's not a mini game where you shoot him and leave him in impossible pain after he take the bolt and try again. Oh, that would be so horrible. It's like, oops, I accidentally shot you in the shoulder. Let me try again. This has really gone and thrown a wrench in the works. Okay. Can I read the letter? Anyone wishing to enter the vaccine lottery may do so. Fancy looking wax seal. And applying for a work permit. Okay. Weeds. I'm not the landscaper. I'll leave the weed pulling to someone else. Fair enough. Thought it'd get your mind off of, you know, shooting that guy in the head. I can't believe this hasn't been scavenged yet. What in this condition is so tough to find? Nice. Got wood. Hey. Attention citizens. If you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. Okay. Doing so will Nothing save useful. lives. Mm, it's tree? dead. And probably rotten and full of termites. I don't want to touch it. Can I go Why back down there? Nope, okay. Just wanted to make sure I finished the job properly. Why do cultists even bother coming out here? A reminder to I don't all want that as a souvenir. Julius Caesar now showing. That play sundown. premiered 28 years ago. I'm amazed this poster is still here. Okay, so it's been post-apocalyptic world for about 20 years, right? That's what it said. A shard of uranium glass. The sun's UV rays make it glow green like that. They're the main source of artificial light in the city. Can I take it? I don't it? need it. There are plenty of shards all over. Okay, so it's a common thing. An old speed limit sign. It's been ages since anything traveled down a road that fast. Might look nice on my wall, but I'll leave it be for now. Okay. I guess we'll just go to town, if that's a thing. <laughs> So we have to go to the market district. Hey, look, a bird with a red eye. That's not creepy. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's like a overworld sort of thing. Amy's home, market district west, market district east, and ministry of energy. So we have to find Danton in the market district. So I guess let's start here. Kind of been taking notes so I know all the names and what I have to do. Just in case, because I don't think there's any sort of journal in this game. So just gotta make sure you know. Two minutes of silence will be observed. 
observed this evening is sundown in remembrance of Blast Day. Blast Day. <clears throat> hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? Why the face are mask? Are you feeling all right? It's strange to see you with a face mask. I'm okay. Just being careful. I saw my neighbor cough up blood the other day, so... What about your daughter? She's staying at a friend's house while I'm out during the day. I got her wearing a cloth mask, too. I just wish I could get her something better, like an actual gas mask. What about me? Like, don't I have the green lung and I'm just sitting here breathing on him like a bitch? Do you know anyone around here named Danton? Danton. Doesn't sound familiar. Sorry. Have you got anything good for sale? Nothing that would interest you currently, but I get new things in all the time. If you check back later, I'll let you know when I've got something you'll like. Well, that's good, because I don't have anything to barter with, except for my crossbow. Business doing okay, Gordon? Could be better. Could always be better. I'm getting desperate, thinking of taking a lottery job. I just came from doing one myself, actually. No kidding. I was starting to wonder where you'd been lately. Who for? Tiberius. Oof. I don't envy you there. But I meant who was the vaccine uh. for? Oh, I just thought it might be good to have some. Just in case, you know? That's not a bad idea at all. And you're young enough that those jobs make sense. I don't think I'm cut out for energy work myself. I'd probably go to resources and maybe knowledge. Lottery jobs are still lottery jobs, Gordon. I don't think they get any easier based on ministry. You're probably right. Well, I hope I sell a lot today, then. How's the Quicksilver restoration going, by the way? Slowly, as always. Still looking for those elusive parts. Well, I wish you luck. I'm always on the lookout for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. So Tiberius is, I'm assuming, the guy that we got the job from. And it seems we're trying to okay. restore Goodbye, Amy. Quicksilver, which is a car. Some sort of vehicle. I don't like to be interrupted when I'm shopping. I doubt this person does either. Anyone wishing to enter the vaccine lottery may do so by visiting the appropriate ministry. Clem has a hard enough time convincing people to come into his alley. Taking this sign will only make it worse. Yeah, it sucks. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard all of the uh, these things on the loudspeaker yet, so I just want to stop and listen to them. But I also want to read everything else. Attention citizens, if you spot anyone with that one we did here while we were outside. Be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. This door seems so, overly secure, considering it goes into an abandoned building. Hello, Clem. How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? I'm looking for someone named Danton. Hmm. The name sounds familiar, but... But what? But, I don't know if I could be of much help. Maybe if you had some more information. Okay, I just noticed something kind of cool. So, all of the, um, the dialogue windows are made out of that, uh, uranium glass that she said glows from sunlight. So that's what all the text is in, and if you look at their portraits, you can see a glow of green light from the side that the glass is on, like it's emitting emitting light onto the portraits. I think that's kind of cool. Are you sure you can't tell me anything about Danton? Sorry, Amy. I don't think I can. Maybe if you had something else besides just the name. Hmm. Well, I do not have anything but the name. Got anything good available today? I glazed some of the bowls I made from the abandoned terracotta near the salt flats. Ah, look at how they shine in the light. That's lovely, but not really my style. If I had a food voucher for every time somebody told me that... Maybe if you had something with more color? Yeah, I know. It just ain't so easy getting colored glazes. If business is bad, I don't want to waste them on pots that won't sell. How's business? Traffic in this alley isn't exactly bustling. Yeah, but people know where to find me. I'm not starving, so I suppose I'm doing okay. Why don't you move to a better location? I've got my reasons. I'll take your word for it. What about you? Repair business going okay? Yeah, I'm taking a little break for now, but it's been steady. 
Hey, as long as life's cozy, you do what you want. I wonder if one of those See reasons of his Take is care of uh, something to do with this building right here. Jesus. <laughs> she banged on that thing, didn't she? A buzzer. I guess someone once lived in this building. Hmm, chalkboard. Hmm. Weird. Interesting. There's a chalkboard on the wall here. Looks like there's some fancy letters printed on it. Can't see any chalk, though. Okay. Looks like a future puzzle I'm to be not solved. I'm interested in this stuff. I've got my mother's old set at home. Alrighty. I guess we have to go find some more information about Danton before Clem will tell us anything. Young lady, have you made peace with yourself and loved ones? Death is coming, and we must be prepared to welcome it with open arms. <laughs> oh, what? good. The Reaper <laughs> patrols the skies in search of the next chosen one. Will it be you? I don't think it will. Do not be so quick to dismiss him. Was there something in particular you wanted? I really should be going. <laughs> So be it. Okay. It's in no condition to be operated, and it looks like it's already been completely scavenged for parts. This old heap has certainly seen better days. Okay. Hey, look, chicken. That's a fine looking bird. It could probably feed an entire family for at least a week. I wish I could afford it. Don't think I looked up Seems here. Seems to be a makeshift signpost, but it's more decorative than informative these days. Okay. Continue on to look for information about Dan Tom. Hello, Gus. Well, well. Look who decided to stop by. Nice to see you too, Gus. How can I be of service? Hmm. Okay. So, I don't... This guy's portrait has the green light on the opposite side, and I... I think that bugs me. Oh no. <laughs> I can't talk to this guy. Do you know someone called Danton? Danton? Never heard of him. Sorry. What's on sale today? Chickens? See for yourself. Stock's a bit limited, but I've got this chicken and some slabs of meat. They're a bit scrawny, but salt and dry them and they should last you a fair bit. See anything you fancy? It all looks nice, Gus, but I haven't got anything to trade. Could give you something on credit, you know that. Yeah, I know. I appreciate the offer, but I'm okay. I'll come back if it's been a few days. Don't let it get to that point if you can. It's not healthy. You need to eat. You're starting to sound like Marishka. <clears throat> Alright, so this guy is nice. He likes us. We like Gus. The farm holding up alright? Not so great. We've been having a pretty rough year so far. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm not sure how we'll recover, to be honest. I'm not even sure how much longer we'll be able to keep doing this. Might have to close up shop and head somewhere else. I wish Pop hadn't been so stubborn and invested in one of those automated farmhands. We could have been nice and comfy doing government work. And you could have gotten in on the action and fixed them for us when they broke. How come you never offered to repair stuff for the aristocrats anyway? I apply every week, but they just don't want me, I guess. It's fine. I get by with my freelance repairs. Yeah, well. See you later, Gus. You bet. Goodbye, Gus. Better not. Gus wouldn't appreciate me distracting his customers. Yeah. I could see that. Hey, what about this guy? Hi, Dunby. Oh, uh, hi, Amy. What are you up it to? Looks kind of shady. Oh, you know, standing, breathing, the usual. So, what's that behind you, then? Oh, that? Just my latest piece, in the works. Another art project? Yeah. I need to take a break from forging handwriting. It, it, it pays the bills, but doesn't feed the soul. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Anyway, I've got this chalk, so I'm trying to, like, think of something chalk. funny to put on the wall. I just haven't gotten any good ideas yet. <clears throat> Where did you get that chalk, anyway? I made it. You made it? Yeah, from Marichka's dandruff. Gross, but effective. Quit messing around, Denby. Fine. You promise not to tell anyone? Took it from Clem's promise. alley. Okay, well, 
I was scavenging around Fripp Square, and I broke into one of the classrooms at the fancy rich kid school. Denby. There wasn't anyone around. It's not like they'll miss it. I swear, Denby, I am not pulling your ass out of jail. I know what I'm doing. Besides, they deserve it. People are starving out here, and the aristocrats are just sitting around powdering their wigs. All right, well then, give me some. We'll just call it even. So, do you need all that chalk? Can I have some? Sorry, Amy. I only have one piece, and I need it to finish this drawing. Not even a tiny little bit? I can't. You want some? Help me break into the place next time. Next time? Uh, I mean, never again. Ever, ever. <laughs> okay, I'll give him an I idea. I think I have an idea for your drawing. Really? What is it? Gus in a tutu, Gordon with funny hair, Tiberius with stink lines, portrait of me. Why don't you draw a picture of me? I said I wanted to draw something funny. Fine, then draw yourself. Plenty of people laugh at your big nose. Whatever you say, Amy. Did you have any other ideas or not? He's gonna be afraid of Gus, right? He's like, no, he'll beat me up. Why not draw Gus wearing a tutu? Oh man, he'll go nuts! Thanks, Amy. I'll get to work on that hmm. right away. Alrighty. <laughs> Doing our part to fuel the creative hey, don't mind. don't think I can't see what you're drawing behind your scrawny ass, Denby. <laughs> you like it? I'd like it more if I was left the hell alone. Aw, oh, where's your sense of humor, Gus? Pretty impressive selection this week. Mariska actually managed to fill up her entire stand. Mariska. That sign has been there as long as I can remember. But as far as who Ray actually was, I have no idea. Alright, let's see if Mariska knows who Danton Hello, is. Amy, hello! I'm looking for someone named Danton. Do you know who that is? Danton? Hmm, Danton. No, never heard of that person before. Who is it? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, good luck to you. Well, go away, Marisha. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? Okie dokie. Hmm, to the well. Let's go check out the well, because <clears throat> I'm assuming that's a dead end. Then we can come back and then go to the exit to the right. Oh, no, never mind. Maybe it's not a dead end. This plank of wood is pretty sturdy. The well's been filled recently. Hmm. I'm not really thirsty right now. This water might not be the cleanest, but at least it's drinkable. I'm assuming we need some sort of container to put some water in. Nelson is He's so kind to let people buy our books. So it's a library, not a bookstore. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I feel attack! Have you had many visitors today? You're the first, but the day is still young. I'm sure someone will come along. Oh yeah, this guy was probably alive before the, uh, the apocalypse. And he's old, so he knows everybody. Have you heard of someone called Danton? Danton? I know a historical figure named Danton, is that who you mean? I'm not sure exactly. I'm looking for someone who goes by the name Danton. Ah, well, then I'm afraid I can't help you with that. Okay. Let's get a little bit of a history lesson. Could you tell me what it was like before the bombs? Yes, of course. Wheatly, wheatly. <laughs> it's always nice to recall the old days. On sunny days, the sky used to be a beautiful shade of blue. You remember that? Vaguely. I was only five when the bombs fell. There's a lot of photos of it in my books, so the memory isn't completely lost, but it's not quite the same. When the bombs fell. But just, it just makes me think of Star Trek. <clears throat> I don't know if any of you guys catch that reference, but... We 
Wouldn't it make more sense for you to sell your books? Knowledge should always be free, Amy. Anyone can borrow what I have. Remember, if you ever want to take a break and enjoy a book, you're welcome to. All right. Um, I wonder if there's something in one of these books that I, I need to find. I think I'd like find. to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? Uh, history. Maybe that'll give us a... Um, an idea of what we're looking for, since that's a historical figure's name that we were given. Yep, Shaka, when the walls fell. That's exactly what I was talking about. I'm interested in learning something about history. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Time of Unrest. Dr. Robert H. Pearl. The shadow of a third world war has been looming over our society for years. Seemingly every new conflict, no matter the scale, has at some point been regarded as a potential global war. Entering the 21st century, we, as a society, seem to have felt a false sense of security. It had been over 60 years since the start of World War II, and despite close calls such as the Cuban Missile Crisis during the Cold War and the Iraqi Wars of the late 20th, early 21st centuries, nothing had escalated to a global scale. The current conflict between the socialist powers of Asia and the Oceanic Republic, however, seems like the likeliest, seems the likeliest to become a much-feared World War III. The SPAOR conflict began shortly after the turn of the century and has been ongoing for 20 years. At its root, uh, oh, wait. At its root is a territorial dispute over the Pacific island of La Pau, from which the OR conducts most of its offshore drilling for petroleum. The SPA claims rights to the island as it was formerly part of their coalition before claiming independence and subsequently being annexed by the OR in 2035. Despite the signing of peace treaties on at least two occasions, the conflict has re reignited and continued. Surrounding countries have felt pressure from both sides to get involved, but the geopolitical implications of doing so have stopped them. <clears throat> However, with the recent developments in the SPA's research into chemical weapons, they may soon not have much of a choice. Okay, so no hints on Danton in there. But it does give us a little bit more of a backstory to what's going on here in the world in general. A reminder to all um, citizens the next drawing in the vaccine lottery will be I held think that used to be a broadcast sundown. tower, but it's been years since it was in use. It's way too far. Okay. So I guess I was right about this being a dead end. Um, I'm not getting anywhere near that thing. Looks like it could come crashing down at any moment. That's gonna come back into play, I bet you. That's at some point. Hey, look, a car. It's already been picked clean. Fair Citizens, enough. This is a reminder All right. that the Ministry of Medicine Let's go back. will continue conducting. I'm really digging this music, though. It's very just kind of chill. Whoa! Where'd that kid come from? I haven't got anything to say. It really is a nice day to be out in the market. Was he there the whole time? Creepy little shit. Okay, so this must be... Wait. Was that the... Yeah, that was already the east that I went to. Huh. So, we haven't learned anything of Danton. I guess let's go this way. Oh, that's just the different entrances. I was thinking those were two different, completely different areas. So I was really confused. Um, I guess let's just go home. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies, their mortal souls he hurts. 
If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming to take away the dead. Oh shit, the when bird. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul, put you in his pocket, and take you for a stroll. Beware the red-eyed ravens, they mean the reaper's near. He'll take away your loved ones and all whom you hold dear. Uh, the reaper watches from can the I skies tell and this sends a head. Hey shut guys, up. what's going on? Hi, Amy. You're creeping me out. That's a pretty scary <laughs> rhyme you're saying, isn't it? Yeah. What if you're scared of the reaper, like Jimmy. He saw a raven yesterday and peed his pants. Yikes. Do you believe in the reaper, Amy? <clears throat> it's a kid, so I gotta be like, no. no. It's just a story. Yeah, I don't get how people can be scared of something like that. Well, you're pretty brave, Tina. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but secretly, yeah, I know that shit's coming. I, I saw that raven with the red eye. Aren't you kids supposed to be in school? No, school got canceled this week because our teacher got green lung. Well, that's awful. Is she going to be okay? Dunno. She didn't look too sick, so maybe she'll be back soon. I hope she is. Miss Campbell is nice. I'd be sad if she got sent to the quarantine zone. I'm sure she'll be back <clears throat> next week. You'll see. Okay. So it looks like whoever gets bad enough uh, green lung, they just ship away. And they're just like, uh, we'll put you over here in the pile of sick people. Where did you kids find that jump rope? Jimmy found it in a field behind his house. Pretty cool, huh? We haven't had something like this to play with in a long time. Yeah, it's pretty great. I want it. <laughs> Can I have a turn? <laughs> Just take the rope and run. How about letting me have a turn? Really? Sure, I was pretty good at jumping a rope when I was a kid. Well, okay. Is it mini game time? I can do this. Uh. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 because her brother, brother, brother had an attack, tack, tack. He asked a ministry, 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 if they had work, 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 to get some medicine, 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 as a perk, perk, perk. He went away, way, way, and to this day, 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 nobody knows, knows, knows if he's okay, K, K. Do these people know any happy rhymes? Jesus. I mean, okay, the world's falling apart and everybody has a plague, so I get it. They're kind of down. <laughs> uh, that's okay. enough. I think that's enough for me. Me too, Amy. <laughs> me too. <laughs> uh, I have to go. I'll see you kids later. Bye, Amy. The aristocracy, guiding tomorrow's youth. I know I certainly wouldn't want them getting that close to me if I was a kid. If you can't hear singing, but Looks you like see their eyes glow red, this booth. the reaper so will be coming to take away the dead. I want you to shut up, kid. I can't get to the flowers. <laughs> They're sealed up inside the booth. Oh, yeah? When the reaper comes Can I break around, it? he'll take it away. Whoa, Amy, what are you doing? Shut Just up, kid. letting these flowers breathe. <laughs> Don't get near the broken glass, okay? Okay. <laughs> Mind Be your business. Red eyed ravens. They mean the reaper's near. He'll take away. I really your hope I don't have to keep dealing with broken glass dear. today. Nice color. It's a welcome change okay. from all this green and brown. I kept meaning to fix that gate, but I never got around to it. I don't know. It seems to have a certain charm now. Alrighty. The door to my humble abode. Hope I remember to lock it. The reaper watches from the skies. Get away from this kid. It's nice to be home. I just wish I could forget about everything and stay in for the rest of the day. Bucket. Everybody You're needs a bucket. With me, bucket. Everybody needs a bucket. My cast iron bucket. It's been incredibly useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. A cast iron bucket? That thing's got to weigh a ton, right? Hey, look. Not the most flattering angle. 
but it's a nice picture anyway. He was always so happy when we were fixing things together. Dad. Hey look, it's Dimby and Gus. Nice to see not much has changed with these two. Aw. This was taken shortly after they were married. They look so happy. I mean, the art for this game is just awesome. I, I love this style. I've hit a dead end on this thing. Until I find the right parts, there's not much more I can do. Okay, so I'll eventually need to fix that up, I'm assuming. Various mechanical parts and junk I've picked up to use in my projects. Do I want to grab any well, of it? Well, I like looking at my childhood knickknacks. None of them will do me any good out there. Okay. Uh, let's check They're out the shelves. They're mostly broken, but I can't bring myself to throw them out. What, the shelves? A bunch of my old projects. Most oh. of them are broken, but they have sentimental value. Well, there's got to be something specific. Tool rack? Get some no, tools? No, these tools are for restoration work only. I'm not risking damaging them out there. Okay, fine. Hey, hubcap. The hubcap from the first car I ever worked on. Hmm. I should really start getting into the habit of making my bed. There's got to be some specific stuff that I do here, other than just picking up a bucket, right? Hey, look, oil cans. It's not finished draining yet. A PC. The old family computer hasn't worked in years, but I remember playing games on it with Dad. It's not in working condition. The motherboard fried a long time ago, and I haven't been able to find a new one anywhere. Okay. Uh, can we do anything with this hook? No time for that now. All right. Oh, a locker. It's empty. I haven't kept anything in there. Let me do something. I'm not sleepy right now. I feel like I'm missing something if the only thing I can do in here is come in and pick up the bucket. But I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess we can go outside and see if we can go through the gate. Maybe there's a back area. If you can't hear it's singing but you see their eyes glow it red. I don't want the to close it, I want to go through there. To take away the dead. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul. Put you in his pocket and take you for a stroll. You can thank Ben Chandler for the art style. I used to know him a long time ago. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Uh, it, I, I like all of the art styles for all of their games so far. Like, it's just... Each one of them fits the game really nicely, but uh, I think this one might be my favorite so far. Um, Primordia was a pretty cool setting, like design-wise, but I think as far as just the graphics go, like how how they're designed and put together and actually constructed, and that's just the execution is great. All right, so. <clears throat> Ministry of Energy, that's who we got the job from, I think. So, we completed it, maybe we have to go turn it in, like a quest. I'm surprised Tiberius allows buildings in this condition to remain standing near his tower. Like... Guards of the olden days. You all keeping busy? Extremely. Now please, move along. I have business here, you dude. All... Hello, I'm here to see Tiberius. Very well, proceed. Damn, it's all fancy in here. Tiberius, in all his glory. I wonder what happened to the leg. Sweep the leg? Ah, no! Misclick, misclick. Hello. Very Is it just all green? It's beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen so many shards in one place like that. 
hard at work making sure this place doesn't collapse. Can we go and bother them? I'd better not get too close. If that thing comes crashing down, it'll be a nightmare. Oh, the building's like fucked up over there. Okay. Welcome back, miss. I trust the job went well? Well enough. Can I go up? Yes, but I'm afraid we're going to have to hold on to your weapon. I'm sure you understand. I do. Here you go. Thank you. Take the elevator to the top floor and let the soothsayer know you've arrived. <laughs> ah, the soothsayer. Alrighty. <laughs> He's harmless. If he tries to tell your fortune, just go with it. It makes him feel important. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Some old guy. The plaque underneath says Caligula. Some old guy. That photo gives me chills. The plaque underneath says last day, always remembered. The banner has got the Ministry of Energy's symbol on it. Alrighty. <coughs> Keep it together. This will be over soon. Mm. Hello. Please, come in. Uh, okay. It's hard to say exactly what, but something about this decoration is extremely unsettling. Steal a shard from right under the soothsayer's nose? Not the best idea. Why not? <laughs> Creepy. I wonder who that used to be. If that's supposed to make this place any less spooky, it's not doing a very good job of Just it. Just a random plant hanging there. Like, ah, uh, this will spruce the place up next to the skull. A bunch of baubles and trinkets. No idea what they could be for. I feel like he's staring right into my soul. I don't know, should I talk to him? Or should I just try to go right by him and see if he'll let me? I think I'm gonna talk to him. Yeah, why not? You are the girl who was sent to repair the reactor, are you not? Yes, that's right. I've done the job. Excellent. Minister Tiberius will be most pleased. I have been authorized to give you your payment. One ticket for tomorrow's lottery drawing. Oh my. Is something wrong? Your aura. I felt it when I brushed your hand. My aura? It's the radiation, yes. dude. <laughs> you must allow me to give you spiritual counsel. I sense great turmoil within you. No, that's okay. I... Please, I insist. There is no need to be afraid of the spirits. I can promise they are more afraid of you. Oh, what the hell. I'll need both hands, please. Now please, relax. I need to study your aura. Hmm. Interesting. Your soul appears to have a tiny seam right in the center. A loose thread, dangerously close to unraveling. The source of this seems to be a decision which torments you. What did you encounter on your job, if I may ask? I met a dying man. He made me promise to deliver a letter. I see. Do you have this letter with you? Yes, it's right here. May I see it? I feel it has great importance. <laughs> sure, why not? Mm. Just give it to this guy. Yes, fascinating. Minister Tiberius would be most interested in this. No. You should speak with him about it. He is just up the stairs. You may tell him I have sent you. Thanks. That was very informative. Think nothing of it. Alrighty. Uh, hello? Hello. That's not creepy. Yes? What is it, citizen? Oh, Your shit. Your soothsayer gave me my ticket, but he said I should see you. Ah, lottery worker. Thank you for your service. What was your task? The broken reactor in Sector 82. You had sent another technician ahead before me. Ah, yes, of course. The one that never reported back. I take it you made his acquaintance. I did. He had been crushed under some rubble. 
I had to... Yes, quite unfortunate. I suppose you can consider yourself lucky that you did not meet the same fate. Perhaps this good fortune will continue for tomorrow's lottery drawing. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak to me about, Miss... Wellard. Amy Wellard. Well, the man who died, he gave me this letter. Oh? And he wanted you to deliver it to me? No, actually. He asked me to deliver it to someone called Danton. I beg your pardon. Did you say Danton? He knows him. Yes. Somewhere in the Market District. I see. Do you intend to honor this man's dying wish? Yes. I made a promise and I plan to keep it. Then I wish you the best of luck in your endeavor. A word of warning, however. I have heard that this Danton runs in rather undesirable social circles. I'm sure I could take care of myself. I have no doubt that you can. However, I also think it would behoove you to refrain from mentioning any contact with me. Once you have delivered your letter, come back here. I believe I will have more work for you, with better pay. You are interested in more work, aren't you? Hmm. I don't know. That last job was pretty dangerous, and I... Very well. You have your payment. If you choose to return for more work, I will not turn you away. Know, however, that my generosity has its limits. Now, if you've nothing else to discuss, I bid you good day. I said good day. I'm sorry, my sweet boy. Where were we in today's lesson? The hell was he talking to? They both give me a decided case of the willies. How about no? I wouldn't give them my date of birth, much less tell them anything about it. Dude, that Tiberius guy, that, the gas mask he has on, that's creepy. So it's also messed up that they do these jobs just for an entry in the lottery, which gives them a Here's chance your weapon back. of winning. By order of uh, Tiberius, I've restocked your crossbow with a couple whatever. of bolts. Consider it a gift from the Ministry for your loyal service. Thanks. Soothsayer give you any trouble? No, but he didn't exactly impress me with his insight. I mean, he didn't even tell me I was... Anyway, I might be back later. <laughs> All right. So I have my lottery ticket. Now what? Is Dimby done with his uh, picture yet? Hi, Dimby. Oh, uh, hi, Amy. I think I have a better idea for your drawing. Really? What is it? <laughs> Hashtag raise. <laughs> Tiberius with stink lines. You could draw Tiberius with stink lines coming off him. Yeah, and I'll write Tiberius stinks underneath. Thanks, Amy. I'll get to work on that right away. Just because it was so creepy. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. <laughs> See you later, Gus. You bet. Way to be a bad influence, yeah. Well, Tiberius is like a really important dude, too. We just met with him. Oh, shit. No. Why do I keep doing that? So where do I turn in this lottery ticket? The ticket is for this week's vaccine lottery. It's number 3211420. <clears throat> Maybe I give the blue flower to, um, what was his name, Clem? Yeah. And he can make me a colorful How's it going, vase Clem? for some Not reason. Not so bad, Amy. What's up? Are you sure you can't tell me anything about Danton? Sorry, Amy. I don't think I can. Maybe if you had something else besides just the name. What's with the chalkboard on the wall? That old thing? Been there as long as I can remember. Maybe the person who lived in the building used it as a message board. Who knows? 
Alrighty. See you later. Take. Let's just try to give it to him. I don't think he. You don't know. You don't know his life, Amy. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe it's like end of day now and I can just go home and sleep. Beware the red-eyed ravens. They mean the reapers near. Good night, creepy kids. Hopefully. Not sleepy, right? Okay. Fair. Fair enough. Okay. All right. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies. So... <laughs> Good night, moon. Good night, stars. Good night, creepy-ass children. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, the aristocracy a is a friend of the people. Sure they are. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? Have you got anything good for sale? Nothing that would interest you if you check that. Still nothing. Okay. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye. So what did I, I miss? Got a reminder to all citizens. The next drawing in the vaccine lottery will be held I'd tomorrow rather not put that in the bucket. Oh, wait. <clears throat> what happened to the Jew that was standing? Oh. that That's a random, like, customer NPC that walks around. I have a bucket now, though, so I can fill it up with water at the well. I don't know what I do with it after that, but... I can't see any reason to lug around a heavy bucket of water. Okay. So I can't just walk around with it until I know what I need to use it for. Citizens, this is a reminder that the Ministry of Medicine will continue conducting weekly screenings for Green Law. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. Hmm. I think I'd like to read for a while. Of course. I'm interested in- Wonderful. I wonder if any of these books actually <clears throat> do anything. I read the history one. The Nature of Man, T.N. Wong. The nature of man has been debated for centuries. There are two questions which have often been asked and whose answers who have been debated ever since. These questions are the following. Can the nature of man be changed and what can change the nature of man? Some, the nature of man is apparent from birth, and though life experiences may shape and form personality, a man's true nature, or self, will not change. To this school of thought, the evil will remain evil, and the good will remain good throughout their lives. To others, the nature of man can in fact be changed, which raises the second question. Some have given examples of extreme changes in people, driven by such motives as revenge, love, fear, or regret. However, it cannot be universally agreed upon which of these things can truly change the nature of man. What a short book. Five out of five. What would you read again? Hmm? Do you have some more? Is there more? There's a little more you have some more? Sure. Okay. Attention citizens. Two minutes of silence will be observed this evening at sundown in remembrance of last day. Speakers. Tearing these things down would be such a relief, but it would also get me in major trouble. Okay. Anyone wishing to enter it's the already... vaccine lottery may do so by visiting the appropriate. So what do we do now? <clears throat> we don't have anywhere new that we can go. Better not. We can't distract any of the customers. Nothing new with Dimby or Gus. What about with Marisha? Hello, Marish. Amy. How's the day treating you so far? Well enough. Luckily, the guard bell hasn't sounded today. I get so upset when they come through here. Have they been coming through here a lot lately? A bit more than normal. It makes me so mad. I know. 
It's annoying, but just try to forget about it. As long as they don't bother you, it doesn't matter. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? That is an awfully large phallic object right there, is it not? Am I completely seeing things, or is that definitely a penis? I'm gonna get banned for playing this game. I'm just gotta cover that up right there. <laughs> I was gonna say you're seeing things, but... Right? It's hard, hard to argue about that one. Maybe I can actually talk to the cultist. Uh, excuse me. May I help you? I really should. So. No <laughs> oh, video games. I'm like, hey, excuse me. I should be going. Just walk up to somebody and start a conversation like that. Oh, can you get me a uh, power yeah. <clears throat> Russian doll dildos. Inside the big dildo is a smaller dildo and then a smaller dildo. Everyone should have one. Oh, jeez. How did it come to this, guys? You think you're all smart, then you... You re regurgitate your Gordon Wood and all that Gordon Wood business. What's your major, dude? <laughs> I think you mean everyone should have several. <laughs> Did I miss something in here? I don't think so, right? Maybe there's something I can shoot my crossbow at now. Singing, but you see their eyes glow red, Maybe go back the and punch the unhelpful will be dude. Coming to take away the dead. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul. Put you in his pocket and take you for a stroll. Beware the red-eyed <laughs> ravens. They mean the reapers no. near. I can't just go You'll around take shooting away people. your loved ones and all whom you hold dear. <laughs> I can't do it. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his how. birds. They let him know right. when it's someone dies, repair. their mortal souls he hurts. I want to go back there. <laughs> I want to if go to there. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the Reaper Maybe I missed something in inside the house. Whoa. It's not finished draining. Maybe we can get the hubcap down by shooting I it? I can't just go around shooting everything I see. Yes, you can. You literally can. You can do that. That is something that you can do. And I don't think that there's anything else that I can do here. When the reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul. Put you in his- Hey guys, what's going on? Hi, Amy. I'll see you kids later. Bye. Beware the okay. red-eyed ravens. They mean the reaper's near. He'll take away- And that creepy adult who stands just a little bit too close to the children. I'm just like, hi, kids. Okay, bye. In the game, too? Fuck you. Shut up. <laughs> Alright. Let's put on our thinking caps here. I'm not interested. Citizen. Mm -hmm. So we talked to Gordon, he doesn't have anything I want. We talked to Clem, he doesn't have anything I want. 
This guy won't talk to us. This guy, I don't. I say I don't have enough money for buying a chicken Just or whatever. No, I had ceiling. You bet. Can I say I anything else to Dimby other oh, than change uh, what he's drawing? Oh wait, whoa! Did I already Do ask you him know that? Of someone called Danton. No, that's a pretty stupid sounding name if you ask me. <laughs> Run away! Are those Tiberius's guards coming around the corner? What? No way, they can't be. I didn't hear the bell ring. Oh, sorry. It was just someone in a blue jacket and hat. My mistake. You have a sick sense of humor, mm -hmm. Amy. Okay, so. <clears throat> See you later, Den. See ya. Here's my theory so far. I told him to draw Tiberius with stink lines so that he would get spooked if a guard comes. Because obviously he doesn't want to get caught drawing that. But he won't run unless he hears the bell which I can shoot with my crossbow. I can't ring it by hand. It operates automatically. So. Hmm. I think I can get a clear shot from here. Then he leaves the chalk behind. Oh, crap! Right, he drops it. Yep, there it is. That was a pretty good trick, Amy. I won't tell him it was you. I just hope he learned his lesson. Now I have the chalk, which I can well, go and since Denby's no longer using use it, on that I'll chalkboard hold on to it for, him. for some reason. Still not sure what to do with the chalkboard, though. Just a bunch of uh, letters. I'm not sure the meaning of any of them yet. Nobody likes the sound of nails on a chalkboard. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think it's working, guys. I'm trying to see if there's like a hidden word in there if you cross out some of the other letters. If you do this, it says bun. That's some pretty complicated program for AGS. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I looked at the uh that first time that we came across it at the beginning where you put the piece of paper on the plate and then rub the candle on it. Hmm. So that, we don't have any idea what the deal is with this chalkboard yet. <clears throat> so I don't think it's worth guessing. <laughs> the elusive bunfish. Does it say bunfish? I don't see it. How's it going? Not so bad. Seal. Take. Okay, so he really doesn't know anything about the chalkboard. <laughs> Buck five. What about the dude's name, Danton? I don't even think there's a D. <clears throat> I think that's an O, right? Buzz? Buzz buzz? Oh crap. That keeps happening. I'm really good at clicking on the wrong thing. Oh, I know what'll help. Uh, if I do this. 
Attention ah. citizens, two minutes of silence will be observed this evening. I guess I should save, huh? I haven't done that yet. Anton, who the fuck are you? <clears throat> what if I give this shot to I don't this guy? Nelson's an old guy, maybe he knows something about the chalk. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, eh? I think I'd like to read for a while. Of course. Well, I'd like to read something about art. Wonderful. Let's see if this does anything for us. <clears throat> Modern artists. A characteristically moody piece, Heidel's warm colors and energetic brush strokes are in full force here. Painted before his death, this scene shows the artist returning to his roots and capturing the bay near his childhood home. It's widely considered the artist's best work and now hangs in Melbourne Art Gallery. Uh, okay. So what do we need the water for? Attention citizens. The well Two been minutes so of recently. silence will be observed this evening at sundown in remembrance of last day. I don't think we missed anything on the screen either. Okay. Hmm. Hello, Marushka. Amy, hello. Hello. I have to go. <coughs> okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? That cracks me up every time. I'm just like, hello, I gotta go. Just drop by to tell you that. This old heat has certainly seen better days. Poor Marishka, she's still so cheerful even though you're so rude. It's pointing into the alley, and it says Clem's Crockery. What a crock. Seems to be a makeshift signpost, but it's more deck. Meat. Gus never has all that much in stock, but even this seems like a measly selection. Hmm. Okay, what are we missing? We have the letter to Danton. Fancy looking wax seal. Which we can't open. Anyone wishing to enter the vaccine lottery may do so by I wonder if that M has anything to do with it. And applying for a work permit. I don't see an M. That's, that's not an M, right? Is that a W? I think that's a W. Try this. Dear Dan Tan, come here. That'll work. Now we wait. All right. I wonder where Clem gets the. I'm not interested. Hmm. I'm really curious about nice this color. flower. It's a well. Like, why would we need this flower? I'd rather. Nice 
this color. I wonder where Cla Let's Make sure that we uh don't miss anything in all the screens. Sale. Definitely not Clems. He hasn't had a sale in years. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Just fucking pounds on that door, man. Just. I don't think there's anything here that, uh, we missed. So, we're either missing a certain interaction somewhere, or we're missing a combination that I'm just not seeing. I'm not sure how I. I'm not. The ticket is for this week's vaccine lottery. It's number 3211420. 3211420. It's in something, no condition to be zero. operated in a. Gus won't talk to me. The Reaper guy won't talk to me. Uh, what's his name? Gordon? Is that the guy over here? He doesn't have anything for sale that <clears throat> would interest me, apparently. The image on this banner means that there's water nearby. What's that? I remember that statue terrifying me when I was younger. Now it just looks sad. Dad told me this thing was built years before I was born. I think it's called the Ideals of Man. Hmm. Oh, look, there's a tree up there. It's way too high for me to reach. Not that I'd need to. Amazing how it manages to grow so high. <clears throat> I'm just looking for little things that I might have missed. Like, I missed the bell up there earlier. Feels like only half the stock is rotten. That's a nice change from the norm. Dude, she's right there. <laughs> Rude. Okay. Marishka, have fun with your Russian doll. Let's go back in here. Maybe we did miss something in here. This is the only place that we didn't go back and explore fully. Keep up the good work, fellas. Thank you. We will. Tiberius is not seeing anyone else. Oh, okay. Well, that explains why we didn't do that. <clears throat> I'd better not get too close. Uh, can I shoot? I can't just go around shooting. I can't just... Not with that attitude, you can't, right? <laughs> Have some faith in yourself, Amy. I believe in you. I believe you can shoot everything. <laughs> what a quitter. The yeah. watches from the skies and oh my god, these kids. Friends. They let him know when someone dies, the mortal souls he hurts. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming to take away the dead. When the reaper comes around, I can, take but... Away your <clears throat> hey, guys. Hi. It just makes me, like, ask if I can have a How turn. I mean, maybe one of these dialogue options does something special. About her treatment of the doorways, it's a post-apocalyptic dystopia and she's dying. Can you blame a girl for getting rough on the entryways? <laughs> yeah, I guess. She, just, she doesn't have time for just that little clink, 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 clink. Hello, anybody home? CC my playmate, come scavenge stuff with me. And we'll be jolly friends, climb up the rotten tree. Climb down this ladder, into my Whoa. secret room. And we'll be jolly friends till all goes boom. That's a happy thought. So my <laughs> my drink is, I guess, green enough, even though it's blue. 
I guess it's, uh, good enough. Uh, la, la, la. <laughs> Miss Susie went to market. I already she did the Miss the Mary Mac one. Bell. The guards came for Miss Susie and sent her off to Hello, Mr. Nero. Please, do you have the time? If you don't stop and tell me, I'll kick your big behind the broken window. There was a piece of glass. Tiberius sat on it and cut up his dumb. Ask me no more questions. <laughs> tell me no more lies. Germanicus and Claudius forgot to do their flies are on the bodies. Ravens in the park. Miss Susie saw the Reaper in the D A R K dark. This, <laughs> I like that one. That one's awesome. Last night and the night before, my lungs were feeling kind of sore. Will they let me stay at home or put me in the quarantine zone? Mama, mama, I feel sick. Call the doctor quick, quick, quick. Doctor, doctor, will I die? Close your eyes and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm still alive and on channel five. Okay. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that was enough. If I just stand here, I keep them from singing. Just stand there and stare at them. That's not creepy at all, right? I'll see you kids later. Bye, Amy. Beware the red-eyed ravens. They At least now the, the plant can get some fresh air. You'll take away your loved ones and all whom you hold dear. There's something that I missed here. I kind of feel like there's something that we got to do on the gate. The but... aristocracy. I know I certainly wouldn't want. The I'd Reaper love to tear it down. The Reaper from the skies and sends the ahead wall. his birds. They mm. let him know when someone dies. The I don't mortal see how souls he hurts. I can't remember. If you can't hear see, singing, but you see I don't their think eyes glow red, the ticket is for the this. Reaper Can I give them the flowers to make to them shut up? I don't the see. <laughs> when Just bribe the, the kids. Comes around, I'd get off my lawn. Your soul. Put you in it's his way beyond repair. Why does she think that I want to repair it? It's way beyond repair. Beware the red I don't want to repair it. They I can't just... My bolt near. isn't strong He'll enough to break the glass. Loved ones and all whom you I can't just here. go around. I can't just go around. You can't just go around shooting children. The Not Reaper all the children. From the skies and sends I'd love his to tear birds. it. They let him know when someone dies. They're more yeah, I, I like how her... I can't just go around shooting everything I see. Her I have excuse... to conserve ammo. <laughs> her if excuse for not shooting the children is that she has to conserve red. ammo. It's not, I don't want to shoot these children. To take away the dead. Jesus Christ. When the Reaper comes around, he'll take away your soul. Put you... I think we're playing a sociopath. I wonder if there's something really conspicuous. Oh no, I already broke the booth and I got the flower from it. I just don't know what to do with the flower. So, item recap. We have the letter from to Danton. We have the plank, a blue flower, a bucket, the lottery ticket, the crossbow, and a piece of chalk. I can't think of anything that we use the flower on. Can I give it to Gus? I don't think he'd... My cast... When she picked up the plank, she said that it would be valuable. So maybe we use it to trade someone. I haven't got. I don't think she. The flower? Give the flower to the lady? I have no reason to show her that. Hmm. That kind of makes me think that we have to show her something, though. A lottery I ticket? I don't think. My truck. I've got one. I can't just go. I can't just go around shooting people. See, we we try to shoot at an adult. She's like, I have to conserve ammo. 
Don't want to kill those children. Might lose my bolt. I can't just go around shoot. Hmm. I haven't got anything to say. Can I shoot the produce? I can't just... Trade wood for a dildo. Equivalent exchange. Wood for wood, so to speak. <laughs> Yikes. I can't see any reason to lug around a heavy bucket of water. Of course you my don't. Cast, my cast iron bucket, it's been incredibly useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. I wonder if that's a hint to anything. <clears throat> it's heat resistant. No point getting that wet. My cast iron... A. About the letter. No point getting... Attention, Danton. Urgent. I guess it must be. Hmm. Oh, it's blood. soaked. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Somebody kind of had his insides on the outside all over it. <clears throat> all right, guys. We have hit a wall. It's already been. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Uh, we don't know. <clears throat> we know that one of the things that we're trying to do is figure out this puzzle that's back here in the alleyway. There is a chalkboard right here with random letters on it, and we have a piece of chalk now. But we don't know how any of this relates. Whoa, you can... Whoa. I didn't realize that you could draw over here. Do any of the books talk about Danton? Do any of them contain anything code lock? Like, not that I saw. So, Nelson, the old guy, said that Danton is a historical figure's name. So I read the history book, and I didn't see any references to Danton. But maybe there was something else. Let's Let's take another look at it real quick, just to be sure. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I think I'd like to read for a while. Of course. I'm interested in one. A time of unrest, Dr. Robert H. Pearl. Oh yeah, this was the. A uh, book about the war. So it has the Socialist Powers of Asia and the Oceanic Republic. And it spells it out S-P-A-O-R. I guess in an acronym. Are those letters that are on the chalkboard by any chance? I'm assuming that it doesn't really have anything to do with the puzzles. It's just kind of a background backstory to the world that we're playing in right now. I know. Good. What else can you do? There were so many things people had. Electricity, running water, mobile phones. I think most of us took those things for granted. People used to say that technology was ruining our humanity, that we were forgetting how to talk to each other if it wasn't through some device. Funny how it took the near collapse of society to bring us back together. Oh wait, you know what? I think of I think we accidentally clicked like out of the art book instead of going to the next page. Cuz when I went through it last time, I was on this one. And when I clicked, I didn't see the back of the book. Yeah, I think I clicked down there. The Pit. <clears throat> Themes of death and torment were common in Ilky's work, although rarely treated this seriously. 
Wretched, desperate figures try to pull themselves and each other from the pit of hell, a scene shown in bold, angry colors. Eleanor would never return to the subject with such melancholy again, preferring to joke with and taunt death in her works instead. Oh, there's a page missing. We should probably copy down what's on the chalkboard. They make a point of making a deal about this being a holiday. Maybe jot down the date it all went belly up. I should I should talk. I Oops. I know. Good to I think of course. Let's see. I'm in one. <clears throat> That's a good idea, just in case. Uh Oh wait. It didn't say so in that book. <clears throat> Does it say it November something? Citizens, this is a reminder that is there a calligraphy book? There's art, philosophy, and history, and we've looked at them all now. But there's a missing page to the art book. So... And we can't ask Nelson about it for some reason. It's already been... Okay, so let's go to the chalkboard real quick. <laughs> kind of write down what it has on it. <clears throat> For a quick reference. Let's see, it's probably B four U K N O I F seven C K Y A need some of that for that uh Russian doll. Nine O is that an O? No wait. That that's an O. What is that? Is that supposed to be a D? X five Q B M. I think that's an M. U Z Z top X four. And then it's supposed to be a J. Is, I think that's a lowercase j, and that's an i. Yeah, I think that that one's probably a d. I wonder if there's anything else that we can... Nope, we can't even get to the inventory after we use this. Came over here all grinning. <laughs> You're up to something. <laughs> okay. Before I. Why? Fun. Fun. Funky. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so it's not something that I think that we're gonna get just by looking at it. I definitely have the feeling that we need some sort of information to to go along with it. 
draw the seal on the chalkboard. What? I don't see. Oh, you think? Helper admitted that a lot of people had difficulty with it. Oh, and they put out a hint. So you just... Yeah. That's why you need the calligraphy book to learn how to draw. Um. So you were looking it up too. It's so pretty. I'll just go ahead and erase the board. Oh. Just read the letters. I don't. S okay, so I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> Not like that. It's like this, maybe. Down. Down. Yeah. And then what? Then you knock five, buzz four. Knock. Hmm? Oh! Knock times five. Ah. Wow, that is... That is out there. Holy shit. I'll I would have never have gotten that. Knock five. One, two, three, four, five. And buzz four times. One, two, three, four. Well, that did something. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah, okay, I'm glad that that we got pointed in the right direction there, because yikes. That's a fancy bit of logic, Jeebus. Yeah, that is, um... That's a bit out there, man. Did it really just... No, that was, that was me. Where's my complimentary bit of Sierra jingle when I get it right? You! Come down here! Who are you? What are you doing in here? My name is Amy, and I have a message for Danton. And? What is it? <clears throat> it's this flower. I don't think he No, just kidding. Attention, I guess it- Here. I was given this letter to deliver to Danton. I see. Wait here a sec. Who are you, and where did you get this? Is this Danton? Danton, I presume. Indeed. Now answer my question. Where did you get this letter? Uh, he didn't say not to, uh... tell her who she got it from, right? Tiberius said not to mention him, so... It was given to me by a technician in Sector 82. He's going to get his manager. He gave it to you? Why? What happened to him? He was crushed under some rubble. He gave me the letter after I agreed to, well, put him out of his misery. I tried getting him out of there, I swear, but he said this was more important. Damn it. Milton was a good man. His loyalty won't be forgotten. He wouldn't have given that letter to just anyone, Danton. She must have earned his trust somehow. Yes. Although I still have a few questions. What were you doing down there in the first place? It's my job, Jesus. I was doing a job, fixing the reactor. He was down there, crushed, dying. Was he now? Yes, and he asked me to deliver this letter. 
I don't know about her, Danton. Are we sure she's not lying? Bruce makes a good point. You could have just stolen this letter. How can we be sure you didn't? Did you just spout an excuse since she had an exact situation to relate it to? No, we really were down there on a job. How it works in this world, I'm not sure if you were here from the beginning, but there's ministries that will assign you a lottery job, which means you go and you complete the job, you go tell them that's been done, and then you get a lottery ticket, and if your lottery number is drawn, then you can get medicine for the plague that's going around. If I had stolen it, why would I have gone through the trouble of delivering it? If you're a government spy, you'd go to any lengths to find us. I'm curious, what was it you said to Milton that made him give you this letter? He asked me about my dad. Turns out they knew each other. Said, hey Milton, give me that letter. Uh, yeah, Cooper Wellard. What? You're Cooper Wellard's daughter? Come to think of it, I do see a resemblance. I never heard anything about him having a daughter. Did you know? No, I... Hang on. Just, who are you people, anyway? The Resistance. Seems he protected you from us. Can't say I blame him. Thank you for delivering this letter. In exchange for it, we'll let you out of here. But you must swear to me not to tell anyone what you've seen in here. I thought you were supposed to help me. Why shouldn't I just go tell everyone how pointless this was? In time, your help will come. Meanwhile, I strongly discourage telling anyone about our presence. I would hate to have to do anything to stop you. Fine. I swear I won't say anything. I'm glad that's settled. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to read this message. Do be careful with what you stumbled into, Amy. <clears throat> Tough lady. The best leaders tend to be, yes. All right. Instead of leaving, I'm just going to explain that's your secret. That's far enough. Get back. OK. She doesn't look very friendly. Tough looking guy. So, okay. found Danton, did you? He knew the whole time. Yeah, interesting lady. You could say that, but her heart's in the right place. So I take it you're involved with those people in there somehow. Maybe, maybe not. I'm just keeping my nose where it belongs. Sorry I couldn't just give you the secret nod. It's not really in my place. I knew you'd get it on your own. Ha. Fair enough. <laughs> That's anyway, where you're wrong. I'll let you get on with your business. Have a good one. Thanks. The best leaders tend to be equals, yeah, she's a bitch, but we're afraid that if we get a new manager, the next one will be worse. Pretty much. They're not some sort of anti-government resistance group. It's just a retail store down there. Shit. No. Relax. Deep breaths. You can beat this. You can beat this. I'm dying. Are you all right, young lady? No, go away. Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. If I mean, you yes, don't go away. Am I saying you don't look fine at all? I'm fine, really. I was just. I was just out of breath. <laughs> Triggered. Lying to yourself isn't the answer. Real beauty's on the inside. You should embrace your demise. Oh, I should, should I? You've been mocked. It's obvious. The Reaper is coming for you. You should consider yourself lucky. It's only a matter of time before you pass on into the next world and liberate yourself from this misery. Look, creepy. I'm not spending what time I have left alive worshipping death, okay? Leave me alone. If that's what you want, then I will. But remember that accepting him will make your remaining life much easier. Should you change your mind, the acolytes of the Reaper will welcome you at the Cathedral of St. Stephen. St. Stephen? The one with a half a plane sticking out of it? That is the one! May death come to you swiftly, young lady. Shouldn't have had that Chipotle. Yeah. I think I'm gonna need a few more lottery tickets after all. Now what? <clears throat> have hey, anything? Gordon. Amy, what were you doing talking to that Reaper cultist? Nothing. He was just trying to get me to accept the Reaper or something. 
Don't listen to what those people say, Amy. I mean, they talk to ravens. Ravens! I know, Gordon. I know. Anyway, what can I do for you? Have you got anything good for sale? Nothing that would interest if you. Okay. Bye, Bye Gordon. Gordon. Gordon Wood. Can I go to that cathedral now? Hey. Yikes. What a mess. That's not where you park the plane. <laughs> hey, it's Zatanna. She looks kinda happy. She's smiling anyway. Hello, lady. Hi there. Hello. Welcome. What may I help you with? Pretty chipper for a chick that's living in a post-apocalyptic, plague-filled world, right? Who are you, miss? I'm Claire. Who are you? Amy. I'm guessing you're one of the acolytes of the Reaper? You guessed correctly. I'm here to make sure those who pass through that door are ready to die. That seems like a pretty lofty responsibility to give to one person. Not as much as you would think. Most people are worthy, they just don't know it yet. Now I am going to move my webcam real quick. <clears throat> because you guys cannot see the uh, dialogue choices very well. How's that? What are you all doing here? Worship. We worship the Reaper and wait for our times to come. When any of our members expire, it's cause for celebration. Are there many of you? Around 50 of us currently, but we always accept those who truly seek death into our flock. Sure, let's Can do it. I go in? That depends. Are you ready to die? Yeah. Yes, I'm ready to die. Hmm, you lack conviction. You still need to prepare yourself to be ready to die. You should come back when you're serious. Mm. <clears throat> okay. It's creepy how you can't see the face underneath the hood. Fuck you, lady. I'm ready to die. I'll kill you, you bitch. There. I can't just go around. Hey, where do you think you're going? Inside the cathedral? Not without getting clearance. I'd like to go Can in. That Are you ready? No, of course not. Then maybe you should get on with it. Time is precious after all. Okay. Weird. Oh wait, what's that? I don't think carrying around a severed marble head will help much. It would just weigh me down. Sometimes I think this head just weighs me down. You have to sound like Ned Flanders when you say you're ready to die. <laughs> okay. This statue has been heavily damaged. I can't do anything with that. Oh wait, give her the flower? Why would I do that? Here, have a flower. I don't think she I don't think she'd be I interested can't in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give her the lottery I'm ticket. I'm not giving away my lottery ticket. Don't I get the say in that? I'm the one controlling here. I don't think some chalk. I don't think. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else that I can do here. Back out we go. Can I go back and see Tiberius now that I've talked to Danton? I have business with Tiberius. Very good. Your weapon, please.
Welcome back. I had a vision I'd be seeing you again. <laughs> that was a hallucination, dude. Here I thought she might be like, oh, blue is the sign of death. You're truly one of us. <laughs> well, you never know. Cold people are strange. Your aura is one of the more vibrant ones I have seen in some time. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. Weirdo. Ah, you return! Yes, and I delivered the letter to Danton. Excellent, you have made contact with them. Good work! So, do you have any more jobs for me? Yes, as promised. As I'm sure you've gathered, Danton is the head of a group of terrorists bent on destroying the government. I need you Rebels. to be my spy. Surrender, maybe? God damn it. Now I'm gonna think of Dennis every time I see Tiberius, and I can't take him seriously now. I thought lottery jobs were more labor intensive. Haven't you got people in your government who do this sort of thing? Alas, I do not. Which is why I am in desperate need of a citizen such as yourself to help me. Would you watch this new civilization we've struggled to build be undone by a group of upstarts? No, but they don't really seem like much of a threat, just a group of idealists. Yes, and the last time a group of idealists formed, they attempted to destroy the Ministry of Knowledge. Danton's group is an ever-growing threat, and they must be controlled and subdued as quickly as possible. Return to them. Tell them you wish to aid them. If they request you perform some task for them, do so to gain their trust. Of course, use your judgment wisely. If you break any laws, I can only offer you so much protection. When you know more of what they plan, come back and inform me. And as before, do not let them know you are there on my behalf. They would surely kill you on the spot. I... I don't know. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. I realize this is a dangerous undertaking. If you succeed, I can offer you a government job. You'll be able to receive vaccine as you need it. Go government job, sweet. Means I get the weekends off too, right? Hmm. I don't know if this matters. If I can have a mechanics job, then we have a deal. I'm sure we can arrange something. I wish you luck in your task. <laughs> of course I have a backup plan. Now behave yourself and let us continue with arithmetic. I wish you luck on your task, young lady. It's and insane. offer some advice. Beware false friends. How did you... Right, I guess that's your job. Never mind. And every Mickey Mouse holiday. Steal a shard? Yes, steal a shard. Steal a shard? That's a uh, uranium glass. <clears throat> Apparently, they use it in this Here's world weapon, for uh, artificial light. Thanks. It absorbs sunlight or something like that, and then it glows. Because Sir Fancy Pants is not shady AF lit fam squad 420, blaze it! Sorry, I get momentum with those slang words and I just keep going. Amy! Didn't expect to see you back so soon. Yeah, I remembered that I had something else to talk to Danton about. No big deal, really. Don't mind me. Whatever you say. <laughs> that wasn't suspicious at all. Hello, Bruce. You again? I'd like to speak with Danton, please. Fine. Wait here. So you're back. What is it now? I know who you are and what your people are doing. I'd, I'd like to help. I'm 
flattered that you want to help us. But I feel we have some matters to resolve first. What matters are those? Enough of these games. You're oh, going shit. to have to start telling me the truth if you want to get out of here alive. What? I have been. Let's not be so drastic. Don't play coy with me, Blondie. Do you think I'm stupid? I had you followed when you left here. I know you went to the Ministry of Energy. Rip. Now I'm only gonna ask you this once, and I want the truth. Are you working for Tiberius or aren't you? All right, guys, what do I do? I'm not working for Tiberius, I swear. I was doing a lottery job for him, but that's all. I am, and I came to spy on you. Lottery job. Okay, so that's a vote for, uh, for lying. It's two votes for lying. So you guys just want to go through with the spying, huh? Well, I mean, okay, I know it's not really lying because it's a lottery job that involves spying on them. I'm a tell the truth kind of person and hope that the designer is a moralist. Pasta that? What? What? Didn't know there was a spaghetti emote. Hmm. All right, let's do lottery job because it's kind of like on the edge. It's a lie, but it's a lie of omission. Spaghetti. You do realize people need to do lottery jobs to survive, right? It doesn't mean I like the guy. A lottery job? Oh, I see. And what other choice have I got? It's not like I can walk up to the Ministry of Medicine and buy a dose. I'm so sorry. You don't deserve what's happening to you. This is why we have to act. They've been beating us down for so long, nobody remembers a time when they were prosperous and free. Struggling against the system may not be pretty, but it's the only way we can improve our lives. Danton, if she's got a connection to Tiberius, she could prove useful. You know, you're right. Having another double agent would be beneficial to us now that we've lost Milton. But I'm not gonna make you this offer for free. I'd hate for Tiberius to outbid me for your loyalty. Instead of hoping your lottery ticket gets chosen, how about you end up with as many actual doses of vaccine as you want? Hmm. Besides, do we really want to work with Sir Creepy Pants Von Wigwear? <laughs> okay, so now we can start actually working for these guys and get the vaccine anyway, right? If you're a double agent while you're acting as a double agent, are you a quadruple agent? So... Are you saying you have vaccine to give me if I help you? Not just yet. But if all goes to plan, we will. I'll tell you more mm. as soon as you help us out with something. Are you familiar with the junk vendor and butcher in the market? Gordon, Gordon and Gus? Gus. Yeah. Of course. They're good friends of mine. Then it may interest you to know that they work for me. Hey. I had no idea. They usually spare us some of their extra supplies, but they've been unable to keep up the last few months. I suspect they've fallen on hard times. See what's going on with them and help them if you can. Once you've finished, come back here, and we'll do what we can for Sounds you. Sounds like a scam. Uh, and when you talk to them, use the code phrase, I've got the perfect life. That will let them know you're working for me. Now get to it. Don't come back here until you've finished. And remember, I expect your loyalty. If you set foot anywhere near the Ministry of Energy, I don't want to see you meet an unfortunate end. I'm sure you understand. Okay, so the thing about a code phrase to let you know that you're part of the in-group is that it's something obscure, right? But I've got the perfect life. If somebody's just really happy and talking to you, it's like, hey man, how's it going? Hey, not bad, I have the perfect life. They're like, oh, okay, well then, uh, you know, we're doing that really illegal thing later. <laughs> then again, take what you want and burn the rest, McRebel. <laughs> it's not exactly the kind of person I want to work with either. Yeah. 
They're both kind of extreme ends of the spectrum. Yeah, but in a post-apocalyptic world... Well, yeah, in the post-apocalyptic post world, you probably want to work for the rich guy, right? Not the slum rebels that are trying to cause a scene, wreck everything for the rest of us. Upstanding citizens. Still a better choice than having to choose between NCR or Caesar Legion in Fallout 4. It's been a long time since away. I played that. No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. Alright, I got the perfect life. How are life. you doing today, Gus? Because I've got the perfect life. Shh, not so loud. Sorry. So, how long have you been, you know... About a year now. But why? Isn't it risky for you? Sure, but to be honest, I, I kind of like the excitement. It makes me feel like I'm part of something important. Plus, things need to change. Just look around you. We can't live like this. Kids can't grow up like this. Danton's gonna bring back the old days. Anyway, I was told you were having some trouble, so I wanted to help. Yeah, not sure what you can do, but swing by the farm if you want. Pop was asking about you the other day. If nothing else, talk with him a bit. He misses you. See you later, Gus. You bet. I like how he's like, not so loud. Somebody might hear that you're happy, and we can't have that. Like, okay, if somebody says I have the perfect life, like, that's fine. Somebody overhears that, they're just like, okay. They, they're pretty happy in the shitty post-apocalyptic world. That's weird, but that's fine. But if you hear somebody say, I've got the perfect life, and he's like, shh. Then suddenly you're like, uh, something's I'm going on. <laughs> hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? That code phrase is so full of cringe, I almost expected a wink and an elbow nudge. You know, if you helped me today, I'd have the perfect life. You mean... Ah, uh, I see. Be careful where you say that, Amy. Right, sorry. Anyway, what are you doing to help the others? A little extra scavenging for items they might find useful. But lately, I've been too distracted by the situation with my daughter. You'd think that for all the crap I collect, I'd have found something to at least try and make her a more effective mask. Only place I haven't had a chance to check out lately is the old Centrex factory. Even though I'm not sure there'd be much of use in there. I just want her to be safe. Losing my wife was bad enough, I can't lose her too. I know, Gordon. I know. I'll keep an eye out for what you need. You just try to relax. That would be awfully kind of you, Amy. Anytime. Okay. I'd ask somebody who said that now what drugs that they're on. And, I <laughs> and can I have some? Because, wow. Hey, I ranked up. In my own chat. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime. Alright. Let's go to the farm. Pop's farm. Centrex factory. Oh, God, that smell. I think I might be sick. Amy, is that you over there? Hey, Pop. Gus said you'd been asking after me. It's been ages since I last saw you. Come over here and let's have a look at you. I don't want to get that close because you smell, apparently. <laughs> got the perfect life. Why are all these ravens hanging around? Well, they're hungry, too. Now that they got plenty of carrion, it's an open buffet for them. Little bastards have gotten bold, too. Nothing I do seems to keep them away for long. At least having them around means nobody comes snooping around. They run off at first sight of them thanks to that kooky reaper cult. I didn't realize you knew so much about the reaper cult. I don't, and I don't want to. They're just a bunch of freaks who think worshiping the reaper is gonna make them die quicker. But I thought the reaper was just a story. It is, but they think the Ravens are a sign that the Reaper is on his way to take them away from their woes. So naturally, any half-wit who believes that crap and sees a Raven gets scared and goes running in the other direction. Bunch of bullhickey, all of it. 
Anyway, it's best if you stay away from the Reaper cult. Don't want to put any ideas in your head. Don't worry. I met one of them earlier. I'm not going anywhere near them if I can avoid it. Are you under the weather, Pop? I'm not, but I can't say the same about my sheep. Take a look around. Those yeah, bones? I'll just take a whiff. That's the stench of failure. Things are bad. Don't know if we'll be able to dig ourselves out of this hole. Take a whiff around. Did your sheep get sick? What happened? Ran out of feed, so half of them starved to death. It's not a pretty picture. I haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat. The farm's gone barren, and now the only thing I'm feeding is ravens. Truth is, if I can't come up with a way to keep the rest of the flock from dying, I'm done for. I'll keep an eye out for anything that might help. That'd be mighty kind of you. Bible thumps for the sheep. I think we're having the same kind of day. What's the matter? This morning I found a man underground. He'd been crushed underneath some rubble. And pulling that trigger was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'm sorry, Amy, but it sounds like you did the right thing. Did I, though? I could have found someone to help. Why did he have to die? You listen to what the man wanted, it sounds like. In this hellhole, that's all we can ask for in our last moments. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Like he said, even if you had gotten him out, you wouldn't have had much of a life left to live. It's not something anyone likes thinking about, but it's reality. I know. I mean, I see death almost every day, but this was different somehow. Thanks, Pop. I think I needed to just get that off my chest. Anytime, Amy. Alright. Now that all that's done with, I have a perfect life. I'm sorry you're having trouble, Pop, but I've got the perfect life. Is that a fact? Yeah. Did Gus not tell you? Tell me what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Whatever you say. <laughs> so he's not in on it. Now he just thinks that we're nuts. What did you say the problem with your sheep was? Ran out of feed, so half of them starved to death. It's not a pretty picture. I haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat. The farm's gone barren, and now the only thing I'm feeding is ravens. Truth is, if I can't come up with a way to keep the rest of the flock from dying, I'm done for. I'll keep an eye out for anything that might help. That'd be mighty kind of you. Okay. I have to come back and visit whenever you like. What's the problem with the sheep? <laughs> They're dead, Amy. Uh... Yeah. Uh... Hey, is Say, that a Pop, gas mask? Would you mind if I took this gas mask? Nah, it's fine. Not doing too great a job scaring the birds, so I doubt taking it off will make much of a difference. Hope you weren't planning on using it, though. The filter's no good. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find some use for it. I'm sure I'll find another filter. Uh... They look like they would fall apart as soon as I touch them. Shoot! 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 Shoot the fucker. I can't just go around sh- <laughs> can't just go around shooting the fucker. Okay. So I need something to feed the sheep. It just says furnace. I guess it's meant to be some sort of warning. I'm guessing our uh, heat resistant bucket is going to come into play pretty soon. It just says furnace. Remember Blast Day. Support the aristocracy and you will be supported. Uh huh. Centrax. I remember hearing a lot about them. They're the ones who used to manufacture all the uranium glass before the bombs. Let's grab them some good old factory refuse. Best feud around. Feud. Best feud. Family. Family food. I don't need to take any more wood right now. I haven't got I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Right now. Maybe later. <laughs> huh. It's unlocked. That's kind of surprising. Whoa! Denby? What are you doing here? Oh, you know, living. 
That's what people do, I hear. Did you run away from home? I don't really want to talk about it. You can hang out here if you want, though. It's nice to have some company. These are nice. It's like you've turned this place into a private gallery. Yeah, I keep them around for inspiration. Let's turn this valve. Squeak, squeak, squeak. There's nothing down there that interests me. I'd be worried if there was. <laughs> oh, jeez. It actually just referenced the fact that your character talks out loud to themselves when you do stuff like that. Denby looks right at home in here. He should just think that we're nuts. Hey, these are pretty good. All yours? Yeah, they're okay, I guess. My favorite's the one of the pilot. What are all these signatures? Like I said, I've been practicing copying handwriting. Those are just my practice sheets. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to use that at some point. Probably. I would assume so. Nothing going on in there right now. But there is the smell of gas wafting out. That's a start. It hey. wasn't me, I swear. Hey. That furnace could really be useful. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay. This one doesn't look finished. No, it's still a work in progress. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, you're the only woman I know who isn't old and wrinkly, so you're way easier to draw. Hey, look, I don't want to risk damaging it any further. Yeah, probably best to just leave it where it is. How do there you know? No Heart. Hmm. Put the bucket in the opening. The bucket is heat resistant, but it's also empty. So what would I need to melt down? <clears throat> Nothing yet, I'm assuming. Is this the gas valve that I turned on? Nothing going on in there right now. Okay. Thought that was a water valve or something. You give him his chalk back, what happens? Oh. Here, I think you dropped this. Good oh, job. sweet! I was gonna go back tonight and steal... Uh, I mean, I was gonna think about what a shame it was that I didn't have any more chalk. Uh-huh. Well, I'm glad I saved you the trouble, at any rate. Hey, Den- Yeah? Hmm. You know, I've got the perfect life. What the hell are you talking about, Amy? Have you gone crazy? No, I... Oh, just forget it. There's the response that you guys were looking for. How long did you say you've been living here? Around two months. Not a bad place, really. There's plenty of room, and nobody comes by, so I've got all the privacy I could want. Well, nobody except you, anyway. I could leave you alone if you want. No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. It's cool that you're here. It's nice to have someone to talk to. Hmm. Why did you run away? I said I didn't want to talk about it. Well, I do. Is it some problem with your family? Is there anything I can do to help? No, it's just... I felt like I was getting in the way. Mom and Dad have been having a hard time getting us all enough food, and my brother and sister are little, so there's not much they can do for themselves. I figured it would just be better for me to go off on my own. I mean, I still go back and see them and give them anything extra I've got, but I kind of like having my own space, you know? Yeah, I know. Look at you being responsible. I'm so proud of you. Ugh, whatever. No need to be gushy about it. <laughs> what was it that we needed from here? <clears throat> Gordon needed something. I completely forgot. It was just right over. How did you manage to get in here? They didn't do a very good job of boarding up the doors. It was pretty easy to get in. I'm surprised nobody else tried before I did. I mean, there's like not much left in here, but glass is pretty valuable. I might trade it to Clem. Does any of the stuff in here still work? Yeah, I, I think the furnace still works. It's connected to the gas anyway. The gas is still on? Yeah, it's on a natural line, so it's still under pressure even though the power's been cut. 
I try to keep it off as much as I can, though, just in case. Whoops. Besides, <laughs> if you need natural gas, I've pretty much got you covered. Good to know. Add just that valve on, on for uh, quite a while. I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. Oh, great. I don't see how... The gas mask's filter is empty. Hmm. So this, I can't go further into this building or anything? I don't see how... Take care of yourself, then. I'll try... I haven't got time to do much scavenging right now. Why not? <clears throat> I don't need to take any more wood right now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember what Gordon needs from this place. I'm back. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. If you're worried about that, you could always try- Fair point. Yikes. If I put wood on there like this, it'll just fall on the bottom when I light the furnace. Yeah, and then the burnt smell will linger for days. Hmm. So you need something to put in there first, like a, a grill or a grate? I need that sucker. There's nothing down. I'd be worried. I don't want something that interests me. I want to pick up the grate. Something to make a mask for his daughter. Oh, you mean like the gas mask that I just got? Time for me to go. Okay. Plank in the bucket? Um, I don't think so. At least this will make carrying the wood around. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't need to take Why would I need to do that, though? Just had to come- uh. huh. I thought that wood was a, What are you uh, doing? A An lot experiment. bigger. Boring! Not when it involves burning stuff. Oh. Well, yeah. That's cool, then. You gonna give her a bad gas mask and she'll die? <laughs> I mean, that's not my intention. Hmm. So I still need a spark, right? I don't think tossing that into- Why I... not? You're carrying too much junk. Liberate yourself. You're junk. I can't just go around- I don't think- Why- Hmm. Yeah, I still need a way to make a flame after I- Don't get into any- I'll Turn on the gas. So I need flint. I haven't got time. Or... See, my my first thought was using the crossbow, like the bolt, and just shoot in there, shoot the metal bucket. The bolt has a metal tip, I'm assuming. That'd create a spark. But uh, Amy seems to think that I want to burn the crossbow. It just says furnace. <laughs> it just says bucket. Come get your bucket. What's this? No, 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 no. I didn't want to leave. Uh, oh. I was trying to hover over the uh, water that was dripping down from this pipe. Um. I don't need to take any more wood right now. Take the wood, you whore. Alright, I wonder if Gordon wants the unfinished uh, gas mask. Gordon, I found this gas mask, but the filter is empty. Would it be of any use to you at all? Yes, this is good. If I can get a filter, this would be exactly what I need. Thank you, Amy. Here, I have something you might like to trade. What is it? A flint? An aristocrat guard ran through here earlier and dropped hey. his flintlock pistol. It got a bit damaged, but I figured you might be interested in messing around with it for parts. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. 
And don't worry, I'll find a filter for you, I promise. I'm sure somebody around here has to know something about them. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nelson's probably the guy to see about that. He's got books on just about everything. <laughs> Look at you making shit happen. Hell yeah. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Let's go make some fire. Fire, fire. Okay, so turn the gas on. And use the f pistol in there. Now we're cooking. What? You're actually gonna cook? No, it was a figure of speech. <clears throat> oh, thank goodness. I still have nightmares about that lamb stew sometimes. I'll make it again if you don't shut up. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> what a little dick. Okay. I don't think Toss. Why not? All right, so that was only one half of it. I still need to I don't want to put risk. something yeah, in there. Like a flower, because I hate I nature. Why not? No, okay. All right, so I can make the fire now, but uh, I still have don't to find something to put then. into the fire. I won't if you won't. So I guess let's go talk to uh, Nelson and see what he has to say about filters. I'm sure he's going to tell us how to make a filter and then we have to go find some stuff to make it. The bad meat from the guy. What? You mean from the farm? Like the sheep? The Hi, dead Nelson. sheep? Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Coming out here, reading books, it makes me realize I've got the perfect life. Ah, I see. I do as well. It gives me pleasure to help how I can, although I'm too old to fight. What made you decide to join them? Danton makes some good points, despite being a bit overzealous. The favoritism the aristocracy showed their elite patrons after the plague began is completely inexcusable. Once the poor couldn't fund their medical research, we were quickly cast aside for those who could. Danton is brash, perhaps a bit foolish, but her ideals are what we need. Oh, the butcher? I don't think he has bad meat, he just doesn't have very much of it. I think I'd like to read. Of course. Oh, science. A new book. I want to read up on Wonderful. Filtration systems. How convenient. Several methods of filtration can be used, be it for liquids or gases. However, a very useful material found in most filtration systems is activated carbon, coal. Activated carbon has many uses, such as gas purification, decaffeination, gold purification, metal extraction, water purification, medicine, sewer treatment, air filters and gas masks, respirators, etc. The ease of production of activated carbon makes it one of the most useful materials in modern science. Activated carbon is produced from carbonaceous source materials such as coconut husk, peat, wood, core, coir, coir? Choir? Ah, it's choir boys. Yeah, got it. Lignite or coal. It can be produced either by physical or chemical reactivation. And physical. Interesting. This information could be pretty useful. Reactivation. <laughs> Source material is developed into active carbons by using hot gases such as steam or oxygen. It must be heated at extremely high temperatures in the range of 600 to 900 degrees Celsius. In chemical reactivation, the raw material, i.e. coal or wood, is impregnated with acid, a strong base, or a salt. A salt! It's illegal. He can't do that. The raw material is then carbonized at a lower temperature, somewhere in the range of 450 to 900. Chemical reactivation is usually the preferred method due to the lower temperature requirements, as well as a shorter time needed to activate the material. Um, 
So we need a chemical. What about Gus? Gus says that he uses salt on his meat, right? To um, something like that. Hi, Nelson. Good to see. Uh... Do you happen to know where I could find some salt? Salt? Hmm. I know Gus uses it to cure his meats. Why not try asking him? All right. I'll see if I What a good idea, Nelson. I never would have thought of that. I think I'll go and try that right now. <laughs> Why can't I exit? Oh, there we go. Hello, Gus. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. Where do you usually get the salt? I'm looking for salt, like the kind you use on Playing League of Legends. Where can I find some? Well, there's plenty out at the salt flats just outside the city, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to go out there. The walk takes a while, and lugging the stuff back's a chore. It shouldn't be a problem. How do I get there? You know the abandoned South Coast Rail Yard near Fripp Square? Just follow the main track down about half a mile, and you'll find it. Thanks. Will do. See you later, Gus. Salt flats. You bet. Jeez. Getting all sorts of chores to do. I wonder what sort of playtime this game has all the way through. If it's anything like the others, probably about 10 hours or so-ish. I can't believe I never knew about this place. It's the perfect spot to get away from everything. Am I hearing things or is that music? What? It won't let me look at it for a description or Looks anything. Looks like this train has been here a long time. I wonder when the last time it actually ran was. Is this all salt? Pick some salt up. Plenty of salt has been dug up here. I'll take a handful. Neato. Let's go check out the creepy music in the train. It's locked. How odd. Well, how about knocking? It's locked. Okay. Let's go and uh, try to activate that carbon. Uh... There have no you. Ha Hola, Dimby. Randomly throwing salt and. But it might make for some. So did your ex. Don't be so. Oh, I have to go get some more. Don't get into any. Ow. I like the style of these games. Hey, Luke. How's it going, man? I do too. I can't believe this hasn't been scavenged yet. <laughs> uh, accidental bot usage. Gotta love it. At least this will make carrying. Okay, I'll rub salt into the wood. That should prep it for carbonization. I've already prepped the wood for- Okay. Let's try it again. There have no heart. Damn it. All right. I wonder if you actually have to wait. Let's see if that worked. 
Nice. The wood burned long enough to become activated carbon. What? Spend hey. some time reading Nelson's science books and you might learn something. Also, Amy, shut the fuck up. You just learned that like two minutes ago. Snobby bitch. <laughs> Burning the salt infused wood left me with this lump of. Don't get into any. Tra So I wonder if Gordon will actually make any use out of just activated carbon, or if I have to make a filter out of it, specifically. Gordon, look. I got you some charcoal for your gas mask's filter. I... I don't believe it. I don't know what to say. Then listen. Nelson has a science book explaining how you can make charcoal filters. It's really not that difficult. If you can find or make more masks, you can make filters and provide them to anyone who needs them. I'm stunned, Amy. Thank you for your help. We've all got to look out for each other. God's coming! Merchant, a word if you would. Shit. What do you want? Aurelius of the Ministry of Resources is officially requesting your supply of raw brass. What? But brass is my most valuable material. It's practically impossible to come by these days. Correct. Which is why in exchange, the Ministry is offering you 10 food vouchers a week. Do you accept this offer? I... don't know. 10 food vouchers a week is a lot, but... I'll have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry. But know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. I'll find some brass, probably. That's a tough offer to refuse. Why didn't you accept? Because if I hand over my materials to the aristocracy, I won't have enough to provide to Danton. That's pretty loyal, Gordon. She's what we need to change this place, even if it hurts in the short term. He didn't drag the rebel guy off, at least? Yeah. Okay. Two minutes of silence will be observed this evening at sundown. Just couldn't stay away. No, I haven't. Day. See you later. You bet. Can I get produce from this chick and feed it to hey. the sheep? Looks like you had quite the harvest. Yes, thankfully. Though nothing is keeping very long, needs have become a big problem. Anything you want? You're looking very skinny these days. You should eat. Take a pumpkin. Rude. Half price for you. You can make pumpkin soup. You need your strength. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. One of these days, you'll get so skinny, you'll turn around and I won't be able to see you anymore. Yeah. It's all right, Marishka. I ate yesterday. I'll be fine for a little while longer. No, no. You worry me when you Take say it. things like that. You're Relax, right. it's okay. I'm not dead yet. Mentioned something about having some weed. You said something about weeds being a problem? What are they called? What do they look like? Blue burglar. It grows very fast, very difficult to control. Pretty blue flowers, though. Too bad they ruin ah. my vegetables. Luckily, I blue finally flowers. got them under control. They won't come back for a long time. Marishka, is this by any chance the weed you were telling me about? Yes. Take it away, Amy, and be careful. You let that thing get into the ground, and before you know it, mm. they're everywhere. I'll be careful with it. I promise. Huh. I have to- Okay. I wonder if the sheep can eat those flowers? Let's try. Uh... I don't see- Hopefully they're not poisonous. Not my problem. Pop, have you seen this weed before? Sure, that's Blue Burglar. I haven't seen it in ages, though. Where'd you get it? There's some growing near my place. Why is it called Blue Burglar? Because it creeps up on you seemingly overnight. Plant just one in your whole field to be full of them in a month. Would your sheep eat it? I think they'd eat anything at this point. Wouldn't hurt to try. Thanks, Amy. I'll go get some more and plant it tonight. At least the sheep we've got left might still stand a chance. Happy to help. Hell yeah, just solid shit left and right. 
Blue Hamburglar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we dealt with the sheep. We dealt with Gordon's filter. We probably have to go back and tell Gus about it, huh? We'll try that, and if that doesn't work, then we can probably just go back to Danton. Again? Now they're requesting Fletcher, something of Gus. A word, if you would. Yeah, what is it? The Ministry of Resources is in need. You are hereby requested to provide your stocks of meat for government distribution. But I hardly have any meat to spare, and it'll be a while before I can get more. Be that as it may, Aurelius has extended you the courtesy. In exchange, you will be provided two water purifiers per month. I don't know. I have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry. But know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. I said good day. I'm gonna talk to him and be like, that's a lot. Why didn't you accept it? Dude, Just these people are away. retarded. <laughs> no, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. I saw you having words with that guard. What was that all about? Yeah, nothing. He was just trying to get me to sell out to the government. I promised Danton I'd give the rebels my extra supplies. I'm not betraying her for the wig heads. I admire your loyalty. <laughs> she chose a little softer, more gentle words than Jeff would have. Your sheep should be fine now. Really? What did you do? Just gave Pop some blue burglar. He said it should be able to feed the sheep soon. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Amy. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad I could help. See you later, Gus. You bet. I would be a king. Alright. So, we did the jobs. Now we go back to them, right? Glad to see you've returned. I assume you've managed to sort things out with our suppliers? Yes. You've done well, Amy. I think you'll get along here just fine. But understand this. Committing yourself to help the Resistance is not a promise made lightly. We require your full cooperation and transparency. No secrets or lies. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. So he has purifiers, trades it for meat, takes the meat, trades it for brass. I feel like the aristocracy doesn't have all the resources it claims to. I understand, but remember not to ask for things you can't return. Naturally. Now come with me. Thank you for helping our suppliers. As you can probably tell, recruitment has been slow, which has hindered our progress. But I think with your help, we just may be able to initiate some changes. What is it you had in mind? That letter, I need you to infiltrate the Ministry of Medicine and confirm what this letter says. Do you have any questions? Who was Milton? This Milton, who was he? Why did knowing my father make him trust me? As I mentioned before, he was our double agent in the Ministry of Energy. With his help, we were able to establish our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. In the early days of the rebellion, Milton also recruited your father as the official mechanic. They were good friends. I never met Cooper myself, but my understanding is that he was just as loyal as Milton. Losing them both has been a blow. I think we'll manage, though. After all, we have you now. You mentioned my father was with the rebellion in the early days. How come he never mentioned it? It doesn't surprise me. The previous attempt at a rebellion was met with disastrous failure. They didn't manage to get very far before being discovered and quelled by the aristocracy. Your father and Milton were the only original members to escape unharmed. It's taken us a very long time to get back on track, but I intend to avenge our forefathers and deliver the justice they died for. What's the plan for getting me into the Ministry of Medicine? An excellent question. You know how the wealthy have contracts with the aristocracy based on their support when they first formed? I have a vague idea, sure. If a government supporter were to show signs of green lung, the aristocracy would waste no time in sending a doctor to treat them. I want you to go to Fripp Square, 
My sources tell me that a notable supporter has recently been showing symptoms of the plague. His name is Silas Harrison. He should be visited by a doctor very soon. Find out when and where the visit will take place. Then, intercept the doctor, disguise yourself, and enter the Ministry of Medicine. Once you've done that, you'll locate the central storage room, where they keep the vaccine supply. I suspect that's where you'll find what we're looking for. Maybe I should write all this down. <laughs> it's a lot to keep track of. No. I'm sorry, but we can't have a paper trail. I trust you'll be able to make this happen. I know it's complicated and dangerous, but believe me when I say this information will change everything. So how am I supposed to intercept the, uh... Doctor? Like, do I just fucking knock him out? You <laughs> use my piece of wood? Wait, I don't have... Shoot him with the crossbow? If you're so against the government, why do you use the Ministry of Medicine symbol as your code to get in here? That's exactly what the aristocracy would expect. Having our own symbol would make us easier to find once they figured out what it was. Sometimes the best way to hide things is to put them in plain sight. What's up, Ray? How's it going, man? Can you tell me what it is I meant to find? Our contact was unable to provide the exact details in case the letter was intercepted. But if the information he did give us is correct, it means the government is covering up something very important having to do with the green lung vaccine. If you confirm this, it will be exactly what we need to expose the government's lies and incite a revolution. What if it turns out to be a false lead? It won't. Believe me, you'll find something in there. Uh -huh. You have to. We're gonna find something. It's probably not gonna be what we expect. Gotta get that twist somewhere. I guess I should get started. Good. Head over to Fripp Square and find out where Harrison is. That should get you close enough to intercept his doctor. You might also try checking at the Ministry itself. They might have some information on when the doctor is set to make his house call. Once you're in the Ministry, you can identify our contact by using the code phrase. I'm not sure how much help he'll be able to give you, but having an ally on the inside is at least better than nothing. I wish you luck, Amy. Remember that if you succeed, the Resistance will reward you in far greater ways than the aristocracy ever could. Okie doke. A somewhat crude map of the city. I think it's meant for target practice. Okay, that's. I'd love practice. to get in some target practice, but there's someone in the way. I mean, that's kind of their fault, right? <laughs> oh, what's this note? I should probably leave. Remember to wipe your feet when entering. There are no maids in this resistance. All right. <clears throat> So first we'll go to the square. The rectangle. Oh, rat! There's a rat! You dirty rat! Uh. Good day to you, merchant. Go away, you dog. I have nothing to say to you. Now, now, there's no need to be. I just try to make my living here. I have family to take care of, and no help from the aristocracy. Well, if you would just let me... My brother Pavel went out scavenging days ago and has not returned. We're all worried he's dead. What does the aristocracy do? Nothing. Sit in their towers and watch a star. You're young. You do not remember life before the bombs. It was different. Guards were our friends, not monsters. I appreciate your position, but... Look, I think it's best if you just go. She's clearly upset. Giving him an earful, Fine. man. I was here to extend an offer of food vouchers from the Ministry of Resources. But if she feels that way, it's her loss. Good day to you, citizen. I apologize for upsetting you. Oh, thank you, Amy. I always get so angry when I see those guards. Okay. So why... What's up with the Ministries offering all these things suddenly? At least he said sorry instead of beating her up. I don't know if they're like the oppressive government sort of thing or if they're, you know, by all outward appearances they're legit. You know, that, that might be what they're going for. 
Let's go to Fripp Square. Ah, Fripp Square. I do so love the dirty looks I get from people when I walk through here. This guy is the local news delivery system for the residents of Fripp Square. Hello there. May I help you with something? Silas Harrison. Have you heard the name Silas Harrison? I have, yes. He's fairly well known around these parts. Can you tell me anything about him? Like where he lives? Lady, I'm a town crier, not a town directory. If you want to put your nose where it don't belong, you're better off talking to Flora and Genevieve on the other side of the square. Gotta get that gossip. That jib jam. Jib jam, jib jam, jib jam, jib jam. Jib, jib. I've got some news for you. I've got the perfect life. You, of all people, have the perfect life? <laughs> I guess that really is news. Just gonna start saying I've got that things to, to do. everybody. We'll talk later. Well then, don't let me keep you. This poster is encouraging people to get vaccinated for Greenland. <laughs> if only it were that easy for everyone. What is that? <clears throat> oh, a raven. Hello, old man. Can I expose the rebellion or something, I bet? Just by saying it over and over. Skip through the town hall. Got the perfect life! I've got the perfect life! Excuse me, sir? Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? I'm Amy Wellard. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, Amy. My name is Maximilian Huber, but please call me Max. Do you live around here? Yes, just around the corner, but ever since my wife passed, I like to get out of the house and spend time with my friends. Your friends? Yes, the Ravens. This is the Reaper. So, how much time do you spend with your friends? Not all day, but most of it. They are beautiful creatures, aren't they? How those Reaper cultists have turned them into a symbol of fear is beyond me, but to each his own, I suppose. I only wish I had something to feed them with. The poor things look terribly hungry. What do they eat? Anything, really. Meat, vegetables, insects. They're not picky eaters by any means. Hmm. I wonder if I have to do that I'm now. I'm looking for Silas Harrison. Do you know him? Know him? Not personally, but I know who he is, certainly. You wouldn't happen to know where he lives, would you? I'm afraid not. I never had any cause to pay him any social calls at his home. My apologies. You know, it's days like these that make me realize I've got the perfect life. That's a lovely attitude to have, my dear. Your optimism is inspiring. Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. Your optimism is inspiring, but your stupidity is depressing. The Ministry of Knowledge. It's where they keep all the documents and educational materials from before the bombs. Extremely limited access, of course. <laughs> ASMR stream. Engage. I'm not picking up those ladies' garbage. It's a small waste bin. It appears to be almost full to the brim. Uh, excuse me? Yeah. Oh. Where did you come from? She looks like she just came from the quarantine zone. Don't be silly. You know nobody ever leaves that awful place. In any case, I'm sure you've got a lottery job you should be doing. Why don't you run along and leave us to our conversation? <laughs> wow. Which reminds me, I need some new servants. I was entertaining guests the other day, and they kept interrupting. Good help just keeps getting harder to come by. No, you absolutely must. I don't think she'd be interested in that. I wasn't trying to give it to her. <laughs> okay, whatever. A little too modern for my needs. Plus, I don't think the people around here would take too kindly to scavengers. That's Nero's banner. He's in charge of the Ministry of Knowledge. Yeah. Okay, so we need to find out where Silas lives. But I can't go There's anywhere. There's no way I can just walk. Okay, 
So I guess my next move is to go to the Ministry of Medicine and try to figure out something from that end. All right, uh, guys, give me one second. I am going to go to the bathroom real quick. Just throw up something here. Not throw up something, but let me put something here <laughs> so that you guys know. I will be right back in just one second. All right, <clears throat> gave you guys a little break from me for a second. So, let's head to the Ministry of Medicine. Uh, Going in there while the guard is around would get me in major trouble. Better you than me. <laughs> well, let's talk to him. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? <laughs> oh, I should do it. I have to do it. There's the M there. Yeah, because this is the... Well, <clears throat> the M is from the Ministry of Medicine. And we just talked to Danton about that. Is that the rebels use the Ministry of Medicine symbol because it's easier than them having their own symbol and being able to be, you know, distinguished like, oh, that's the rebel symbol. So I'm not sure how the rebels distinguish. <laughs> like, you know, oh, this is a rebel safe house and they go in, it's actually Ministry of Medicine something. So that part is kind of confusing. Could you tell me about this building, sir? You don't get out much, do you? This is the Ministry of Medicine. They're in charge of all health-related issues in the city. So this is where people come to get their vaccines? Correct. Entry is by appointment only, I'm afraid. I kind of figured as much. Thank you. You're welcome. Special wine food delivery. Wine food. Wine food. Wine food's in the chat. <laughs> yeah. We're going into overtime, boys. 
It is past my normal ending time, but I'm having fun. This game is really cool, so we'll go for until I get tired. Until you finish the mine, at least. Mm -hmm. I just have to say, I've got the perfect life. Good for you, miss. Now please, move along. <laughs> Good for you. You know someone named Silas Harrison? Silas Harrison? The name sounds familiar. But then, I see plenty of names on a daily basis. I have to write the name of all scheduled appointments here in my ledger. <laughs> Can I look? Don't suppose I could have a peek at your ledger. Nope. <laughs> Afraid not, miss. This is for government eyes only. And, not to be rude, but you don't look like a government employee to me. Keep up the good work. Have a nice day, miss. Okay. So I have to <clears throat> distract the guard somehow. I have to get him out of that guardhouse so I can go in, look at the ledger, and see when the doctor's going to go visit Silas, right? That makes sense? So everybody on the same page? Even if it wasn't locked? Hmm. But... <clears throat> I can't get in the actual building. How am I going to get him out of there? I don't... The pistol is only slightly damaged. It hasn't got any bullets, but the flintlock mechanism still looks like it works. Should be useful if I need to light anything on fire. Shoot something, but don't let him see you. LOUD NOISES! <laughs> uh, maybe I can shoot that statue? Let's hope this works. Hey. What was that? What was that noise? <laughs> what a mess. I told them this would happen eventually. Yeah, pick that shit up. Let's just have a look at this ledger. Here we go. Silas Harrison is being visited by a doctor this evening for a green lung treatment. This information could be very important to certain people. Might be a good idea to take it with me. Don't just take the whole thing. That's suspicious as fuck. I don't need to go back in there again. According to this page, Silas Harrison is getting a green lung treatment this evening at sunset. Okay, so how do I wait until sunset? I still don't know where he lives. That's the issue. <clears throat> okay. So what are the puzzles that we think we need to solve in this screen right here? Um, that guy wants something to feed the ravens. So that might give us something. Ask those ladies if you can work for them. I don't know. It seems like I'm like too far below them for them to talk to me. So I might need to find better clothes I'd or something. Cut off my own tongue. Yeah. Apparently, I just can't talk to him again. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. That's a pretty dramatic statue. I guess that must be the eponymous Mr. Fripp. The two ladies obviously need to die. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Is there anything else I could talk to him Excuse about? Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? Go cough on them or something? That's fucked up. Do you know the two women over there? <laughs> They're kind of rude. Them? No, oh, don't pay them any mind. They're just a couple of harpies who have nothing better to do with their time than gossip about everything. You should hear them any time the newsman reads out a headline. It's non-stop chatter. But please, let's discuss something more worthwhile, shall we? Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. <laughs> Let's discuss something more worthwhile. Uh, no, thanks. I'm good. Later. I'd sooner. 
So do I need to learn some interesting thing? Some gossip? No, it wasn't eponymous. It was E Pony Mouse. So it's like you know, like how there's email that stands for electronic mail. There's um an electronic pony mouse. Let's see if Danton wants this ledger. I don't think she'd be- Bitch, you didn't try. How about letting her decide that? Shouldn't you be getting on with your task, Amy? Shouldn't you get off my Rule dick? Rule one, do not talk about the rebellion. Rule two, do not talk about the rebellion. Ah, Fight Club. There's a bunch of stuff scribbled on it. <laughs> okay, bunch of stuff. That's really helpful. Don't waste <clears throat> time with that, Amy. You've got- you can... Okay, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I don't want to wake him. Now is not... Hmm. Maybe Clem has some How's helpful going? stuff not so to say. Bad. Take. Doesn't look helpful. <laughs> okay, so I need to find out where this guy lives. Right? Am I just Do you think I'm right in at least that? No, <clears throat> I haven't quite reached. Meat for ravens. Have you there we go. Meat I could feed ravens with? Ravens? Why would you want to feed those little pests? I feel bad for them. Everyone deserves to eat. Well, they're plenty fat from eating the dead sheep at the farm. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to help feed those little monsters. See you later, Gus. You bet. Oh, but they also eat vegetables, which... Marishka. Hello, Marishka. Marishka. Amy, hello! Can give me. Do you have any vegetables a raven might like to eat? Ravens? Yes, I see them around my garden all the time. They love my alfalfa sprouts. Have you got any for sale? Sure. But take this bag, on the house. Are you sure? Yes, I owe you after helping me with the guard. It's the least I can do. Thanks. Aw, uh, Marishka is my mama. I gotta take care of her. Is she with the rebellion? You know, as tough as things are, I feel like I've got the perfect life. I'm happy for you, Amy. You're always so positive. I, I guess not. <laughs> okay. At least she doesn't think I'm crazy, though. All right, <clears throat> let's go give these sprouts to Mr. Old Man. E Pony Mouse sounds like a cyborg equine hybrid of unspeakable monstrosity. It, it's a yeah, it's a cyberpunk thing. It's all right. <clears throat> Frip Square. What's going on, Luke? Er, not Luke, Luke. <laughs> Mr. Lucas. <laughs> As in, you, Phil. This looks like it should be the RPG version of Papers, Please. Corey, how's it going, man? Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? Have a nice day, sir. Hey, yo. You too, my dear. Don't give me that look, Phil. I saw Lucas and I thought Luke, you know, shut up. How were your free pretzel bites? Just tell me that. Excuse me, sir. Dick. I got this bag of alfalfa sprouts, you know, so you can feed the birds. Thank you. This will certainly make the birds pleased. <clears throat> okay. 
Excuse me, sir? Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? Oh, there's that raven on top of there. I was like, uh, why did the camera shift over? That little raven up there isn't getting any food. You're right. I'll toss some extra food closer to it so it can eat. Chase off those ladies or what? Those flying rats just knocked the waste bin over. Oh, the smell! Disgusting. I hope a street cleaner comes to clean it up. Seriously? Ah, I'm a street cleaner. Now. They deep fried the pretzel bites? What? I also discover that they make the greatest sloppy joes known to mankind. Well, it's about time someone came. Now, what was that you were saying, Genevieve? I'm surprised there haven't been any news reports lately. I know. Usually they're so frequent. It must be a slow news day. Okay, is that all? I'm not picking. I'd sooner cut off. I may have not been paying attention. What did the lady say? Do I have to keep telling this guy to throw some more over there? Excuse me. Hello, me. That little. Oh, they've knocked the bin over again. Little monsters. Why doesn't Tiberius just have them shot to extinction? You know, that's not a bad idea. They should make that a lottery job immediately. I prefer to be called Fear Rukus. I think they want you to shoot those women with your crossbow. I tried. I tried. I'm surprised there haven't been any news reports lately. I know. Usually they're so free. Hmm. How's that supposed to be... useful to me? There's no way I can just... Slow news day? That's Nero's banner. He's in charge of the Ministry of Nolan. Is there violence in this game? Well, the intro involved me putting a guy out of his misery by putting a bolt with a crossbow through his head because rubble had fall fallen on him. So, yeah, a little bit. Talk to the news guy? Oh yeah, this guy. Hello there. May I help you with something? So you're a town crier? What do you actually do? I deliver the news to the people of Fripp Square. They ask about specific headlines, I tell them. Some sort of breaking news arrives from the government, I read it. It's rather simple, really. That sounds more like mercy than violence. Well, it's kind of, it's a violent mercy, right? That's pretty violent. A bolt through the head. <laughs> Doesn't matter what the cause of the violence is or the underlying intention, it's still pretty violent, right? Can I hear some news? Very well. Right now, the top headlines are Ministry of Energy restarts generators. Terrorists rumored in the market district. Mysterious object spotted over quarantine zone and the weather report. So, what'll it be? <laughs> it wasn't murder, Your Honor. I was simply pinning her hat with my crossbow bolt. I didn't come to the stream to talk philosophy. Phil-osophy. Velociraptor. <clears throat> hmm. Well, were they talking about anything? when we first went up to them. Uh, da, 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 da. Quarantine zone. They were talking about the uh, quarantine zone. I'd like to hear mysterious objects spotted over quarantine zone. Right you are. Attention citizens. The following is an important news bulletin. This past week, several citizens reported sighting a strange object in the sky over the quarantine zone. Rumors have persisted that it was the Reaper. However, the Ministry of Knowledge insists that this is not the case. 
The aristocracy reminds citizens not to be swayed by baseless rumors and superstitions. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. All right. Let's go try this again. Excuse me. Hello. I'm not sure what exactly we're trying to get out of these people other than trying to figure out where Silas lives, but I don't know if, like, how that relates, that so we'll just You're have to try every single one and see what they talk about afterwards. I don't believe this. They're back a You don't suppose? No, it can't be. A sign. <laughs> don't be silly, Genevieve. Those are We're going to sit calmly and let- News report is newsy. Do you believe in the Reaper, Flora? Goodness, no. That's just a bedtime story to scare children. I don't know. The other day, I could have sworn I saw a raven with red eyes staring at me. Really, Jenny? I wouldn't have expected you to be the superstitious type. Please, let's talk about something else. Okay. So that's not it. Hello there. May I... Can I hear very well? Right now, Minister, Mr. Hansa. Uh, just the way that I said that it reminds me, we went to the uh, Renaissance Festival with Phil. <clears throat> he walked up to one of the roasted corn booths, and he just walks up and just says, Corn, please. So, just walk up to the news guy, just be like, News, please. Uh, terrorists. I want to hear terrorists. If you wish. Attention, citizens. The following is an important news bulletin. Rumors have surfaced of a group of terrorists headquartered somewhere in the market district. These dissidents are to be considered armed and extremely dangerous to public safety. Anyone with information leading to their arrest is encouraged to report to the nearest aristocrat guard. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. Maybe that'll get them to leave or something. I know it's a long shot, but what are the chances of the birds eating those women? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? I don't think he took your spot, Amber. He just leveled up to level two. What did you level up to? I have to scroll up. I just leveled up to level 5, so that gives you kind of an idea. Uh... <sighs> Bless you. I don't know. I don't see yours. <clears throat> that little raven up there isn't getting any food. You're right. I'll toss some extra food closer to it so it can eat. I don't believe this. You don't sit down. We're go oh, Man, Rabbit, you've been in here for almost eight hours collectively already? It's terrifying to think that there would be such awful people out there wishing harm on us. Oh, I know. I can't imagine how I'll be able to sleep tonight. Though I suppose there's something to be said for six inches of reinforced steel walls. I think you can type, like, rank. No. Level. Stupid bot. <clears throat> oh, leaderboard. No, you can just hit exclamation Hello there. May I help you with something? Can I? Right, Minister, Miss Amsa. Alright, uh... Restart generators. Attention citizens! The following is an important news bulletin. The Ministry of Energy released a report saying that they have succeeded in restarting 60% of the city's reactors. As a result, more power will be available, starting with the area around Fripp Square. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. I don't have a life and you play adventure games. How can I play it on the honor? Oh, I'm glad that you've stuck Excuse around, man. Hello? I appreciate you spending your time here. That little... You're right. 
I don't believe this. Th you d wait. I, for one, am glad that we'll be getting more power. I haven't been able to use my curling iron in weeks. Oh, I know. It's just disgusting. Why they don't just reroute power from the quarantine zone is beyond me. Uh. I mean, it's not as if those people will be needing it for much longer. Oh, Flora, that is an awful thing to say. Maybe, but it doesn't make it any less true. <clears throat> Joke's on us, that one Raven's fixture. <laughs> is this part of the fucking poll? That's the tiniest raven I've ever seen. Poor thing. It's too scared to eat with the bigger ravens. Leaderboard link doesn't work? It works for me, yeah. <clears throat> Hello there. May I help you with something? All right. Can I hear uh, right minute the last one, the weather report. <clears throat> What's the weather report? You'll soon find out. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. Weather conditions are as follows. Partly cloudy with a 0% chance of rain. Today's high will be 24 degrees Celsius and the low will be 20. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. <clears throat> Awesome. Okay. Oops. I keep clicking out of the game. Hey, that's uh, Francisco, right? How's it going, man? I appreciate you being able to stop by. Oh, oh crap. I scared him away. Wait. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. Yeah, guys, the uh, person who just joined is uh, Francisco Gonzalez, right? And he is one of the developers for Shardlight. So, if you guys have been enjoying it, then definitely say thank you. Go give him a follow on Twitter. Go follow Wadjet Eye Games, all that stuff. This game's been really cool so far. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? That little raven up there is... You're right. I, <clears throat> I don't believe this. They're back again. You okay, so this is the last uh, news bulletin to hear what these reactions are. Lovely day today, but I can't wait until the temperature drops a bit and I can wear my fur coat. Oh, yes! I had one made up, which I cannot wait to debut. I think you'll be jealous. Mm, no doubt I will be. I always admire your sense of style. <laughs> you should be spanked for that chalk puzzle, though. Dude, that was so, like, out there. I honestly, like, I would never would have gotten it that. I'm so lucky that I had people helping me and guiding me. That was, that was clever, but, man. I I'm kind of slow when it comes to that. <laughs> oh, you wrote and designed and coded most of it. I I didn't realize that you had such a big part of it. I, I was I thought that it was like a a big team effort, but yeah, it's really good. I really like it so far. Okay, so what do I do? Maybe I scare away these birds. No. Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? Glad this is still going. I was afraid I was too late. On the subway home right now. Ah. Are you, uh, are you on the west coast? It probably makes more sense if you're, if you're on the subway. It's probably not 11 p.m. for you, huh? I didn't cheat, Nick. It was a hint. A very strong hint. That little ra You're right. I don't believe strong. This. They're back a very strong again. hint. 
You don't suppose? No, it can't be. A stop with. Hmm. Oh, crap. <laughs> I keep doing that. You stop that. <clears throat> 11 p.m. in New York City. Oh, okay, so you are just on a, on a late subway. You're not, uh, just leaving work or anything, are you? He seems happy to be feeding the birds. This game's on sale on GOG right now, isn't it? <laughs> it is, and that's actually where I got it. So it's up to, I think it's like 80% off. So definitely stop by, get all of the Wadjet games. Uh, you can see some of the games that I've played. I played through Primordia and Techno Babylon. Awesome games from an awesome studio. Go get the games. Just, just go get them. Hmm. <clears throat> just coming home from hanging out with friends. Okay, that's a that's a lot better reason to be on a subway at 11 p.m. My previous game, A Golden Wake, is on sale too. I'll have to check that one out as well. Can he shoot the spy raven? Ah. I don't think it would appreciate that. <laughs> I don't think anything really appreciates being shot, but sometimes things just need to be shot, right? <laughs> well, it's a fucking bird. Who gives a shit, right? I don't care what it would appreciate. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Lovely day today. Okay, so this is the same dialogue that we already heard. So, did I hear something that I just didn't realize is a big hint? Or maybe I still have to do something. Still hoping the birds eat the women, or at least their hats. We can always hope, rabbit. Maybe you gotta catch a bird in that waste basket? I don't think I can do anything with the waste bin. I'm not picking up those ladies' garbage. She says after she just got done picking it up. <laughs> Thanks for streaming the game and glad you're enjoying it. Let me know if you want any behind the scenes info or anything. That would be awesome. I, I might hit you up for that after I finished everything. I don't want to spoil all the stuff that I have ahead of me, but yeah, I love, uh, I love hearing about all, all the nitty gritty details. So I'll definitely be in contact on Twitter. Gemini Rue is on sale too. Yeah, that one's great. A twist. Hmm? A twist. A twist? A twist. A twist? A twist. Where's the twist? Oh, Gemini Rue. Oh. Do it. Do it, Ren. What are you doing? I want to know where the inspiration for it came from. <clears throat> well, you can go ahead and ask him. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> For instance, the guy voicing Max Huber is Mike Pollock, the guy who plays Eggman in the Sonic games? <laughs> really? Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice you too. Did you use the tween plugin or is it the native room scrolling? <clears throat> oh, you guys talk about AGS stuff. I've never actually used it. I'm really interested in trying, though. Um, yeah, that's something I can ask you, is uh, what language does AGS use? I'm interested in trying to mess with it. I'm assuming it's some sort of uh, interpreted language and not a compiled language, like something like Lua. Lua is interpreted, right? This guy is the local... Hmm.
needs more wine food. Amber says I need more wine. Oh. Oh, wine foo. Okay. I get it. She just misheard when I said wine foo. <laughs> AGS uses some kind of C sharp type language. It's object oriented scripting. I know next to nothing about programming. Ah. I am a uh, software developer by day, but I've only done minimal uh, video game development. So I, I've, I've been looking for an excuse to make the switch, but my problem is that I don't... Uh, I'm very bad with the art aspect, so... <laughs> Gonna need you to go ahead and solve this puzzle. I don't know what to do. I think I'm... I'm just very slow. I'm just kind of walking back and forth at this Please point. Please don't touch that. Wait, what did I just try to touch? Oh, a microphone. That's what the newsreader uses to make sure everyone around here knows what's going on. Hmm. Okay, so... I just realized we can interact with the uh, microphone separately. So maybe we have to do something to distract the newsman so that we can use the microphone, make up our own news headline so that we can control what the ladies on the bench gossip about. Shoot the microphone? Hashtag shoot it. Okay, consensus has been reached. I haven't gotten the ammo. Wait, what? I don't have any ammo? Shoot the microphone and the newsman and the birds and the ladies. <laughs> Phil has some pent up anger he's working through. I haven't got any ammo. Why don't I have any ammo? What did I use for last? Did I shoot anything? I didn't think I, I used it. <clears throat> shot the statue and you shot the bell oh okay I did shoot the bell I forgot about the statue <clears throat> okay I can't just hmm Okay, that makes me wonder because if I try to shoot something else, right? I haven't got. Oh, okay, never mind. <clears throat> I was gonna say if I try to shoot him, it says I can't go around shooting people. But if I try to shoot the mic, it I says I don't have any ammo. But I think that's just because the I can't just I can't go around shooting people message takes priority over the amount of ammo message. So I don't think that's a hint that I'm supposed to shoot it. <clears throat> All right, so the doctor from the Ministry of Medicine is coming this evening to Silas's home, but we don't know where Silas's home is. We need to just a theory is we need to say something into the microphone, some sort of headline that gets the women on the bench talking about Silas and where he lives. But assuming that theory is correct, how do we get the newsman distracted? Have you given the ledger to- oh, no. I think you should have a look at this. Interesting. Attention citizens! Hey! The following is an important news bulletin. Silas Harrison, noted government philanthropist, has contracted green lung. He is due to begin medical treatment this evening. Anyone who has had contact with Harrison is advised to monitor their symptoms and to notify the Ministry of Medicine if they begin feeling ill. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. Hey. All right. 
right. That sounds like it'll Excuse be me. it. Hello? That was... I don't believe this. They're back again. You don't suppose? No. Don't be. We're going. believe Harrison kept his disease to himself? I know. I was just at his manor last week. Now I'll need to go to the ministry and get checked. <clears throat> Everyone on Threadson Street will. He should know better than to Threadson throw parties Street. if he's got green lung. I'll bet his gardener gave it to him. He Interesting. A, A mansion, mansion on, on Threadson, Threadson Street. With topiaries. Yep. Speaking of which, um... Francisco's actually working on a new game called Lamplight City is it kind of reminds me of what I've seen so far like a uh, LA noir sort of game only in this point-and-click adventure style setting in this uh, art style sort of thing so it looks really cool I would make sure you follow him on Twitter to uh, follow the development of that and I, I'm I'll probably be playing it when it comes out Yep, okay, Kayla's got the link for you guys there, so go ahead and check that out. Looks really cool. And also you can get things wrong. Yeah, I, I, I was reading about that. I think you, uh... I think it was a tweet that I was reading that you can actually put together all your clues incorrectly and solve the case in a wrong manner and just basically be a shitty detective. <laughs> so it's not like just keep guessing until Collins you get it right. The ministry, here to see Mr. Harrison. Of course. He's in his room. Just walk down the hall. It's the fourth door to the left. Fourth door to the left. All right. Ah, write it down. Fourth. Damn. Left. Looks like I got here too late. But maybe there's still a way I can get close to the doctor without being seen. Okay. Interesting. Looks like the house goes back a ways in that direction. <laughs> you know those games that let you throw away or destroy an item that you need and then you're screwed? <laughs> Yeah, like the old school Sierra games. L.A. Noir pushed you in the right direction no matter what. In my game, you can accuse the wrong people or piss everyone off and screw yourself over, but the game will continue and the story will be affected. See, I think that's a much better approach to it. Yeah, that, that game is definitely on the list. Once it's released. Do you have a um, uh, an estimated release date for that? at all he's got quite the artist touch these topiaries are pretty impressive mm. hard to tell from this distance but it looks like that's the kitchen in there hard to tell i'm assuming i can't just walk up to the front doors right <laughs> Okay, this is no longer accurate. Oh wait. Green lug here. Solid. <clears throat> Alright. Let's be super sneaky and just walk right in front of him. I don't think I'll be able to oh, just walk mind. right into the manor. <laughs> Shoot the front door. I think we found Phil's uh preferred method of Approaching every puzzle in this game. <laughs> I guess we have to go around no matter what. This window looks into the kitchen. This window. This one. Damn, it's a big kitchen. This window looks into a bedroom. Bedroom. This window. There's an open Either window. Was careless, or they just enjoy a cool breeze. Okay, so we climb the vines, right? Those vines are way too flimsy to support my weight. Anyway, I don't need to go upstairs. 
<laughs> Rabbit. I agree with Phil, but place the woman in front of the doors first. Uh. Looks like there's nobody upstairs. Hmm. Time to do a little peeping. Be Good evening, such a creeper. What seems to be the trouble? You know damn well what the trouble is. I've got that blasted plague. Hmm. What symptoms have you been having? Last week, the coughing started. Since then, it's only gotten worse. And yesterday, I hacked up some blood. I've had a fever all of today, and haven't felt like eating anything since yesterday. Not to mention, I haven't been able to sleep a wink. Hmm. I see. Have you been in contact recently with anyone showing symptoms of the disease? Well, two weeks ago I was relaxing outside in my yard when some vagrant came by to ask if I could spare any food. Well, naturally I told him I couldn't, but he became belligerent when he heard that and spat in my face. To think, a man of my stature with Green Lung. I can't imagine the scandal. Green Lung doesn't discriminate, Mr. Harrison. It can affect anyone. So can you do anything for me, Doctor? Not to worry. You're in good hands. Your support of the Ministry of Knowledge means you'll receive only the finest care the government can offer. I'm going to give you a dose of vaccine. That should fix you up by morning. But you'll need to get another dose in about a month's time. Why can't you eggheads at the Ministry of Medicine get off your collective asses and develop a cure already? We're trying, believe me. This isn't an easy disease to cure, but the treatment works almost instantly. You'll see. So I'm stuck getting this injection once a month for the rest of my life? I'm afraid so, although I'm sure you'll agree that it beats the alternative. Mm, yes, well, that is true. I could be dying in the streets like those filthy mongrels in the quarantine zone. Yes, with the monthly injection, you won't have to worry about entering the terminal phase. Let's not think about that. Oh, dreadful business, really. Let's focus on my treatment. Of course. Just hold still a moment. His voice sounds go. really familiar. You should feel like a new man in just a few hours. I'm going to leave an appointment card here for you. Just bring it to the Ministry of Medicine when you're due for your next vaccine dose. Can't I send my servant to get it for me and bring it back here? The Green Lung vaccine is a valuable commodity, Mr. Harrison. We don't release it to just anyone. So can't you just come back and shoot me up when it's time? I don't want to have to go all that way. We'll see. I know you've curried favor with the aristocracy, but I'll leave the card here just in case. Hmm. Oh, and I'll leave a little something with your butler to help you sleep. But give the vaccine a few minutes to circulate before you take it. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I appreciate it. Think nothing of it. Feel better, Mr. Harrison. Hmm. That card is my ticket into the Ministry. But how am I supposed to get it? Damn! Where is that confounded servant of mine? Okay, so the servant has sleeping pills, right? I have to use those somehow. Then I have to get this card. I probably have to make sure that the servant gives the sleeping pills to him so that he's knocked out so I can sneak in, get the card, go to the Ministry of Medicine, etc. Can I do anything from here? Someone clearly cleans this glass daily. I don't think I can do anything except for exit. Go see what we can do with the servant. I've given him a dose of vaccine. He should be back to normal by tomorrow. Oh, joy. I'm so relieved. If it's any help, I have some sleeping pills for him. He should be ready to take them shortly. Good. At least that'll give me some more peace for a while. Soon enough, he'll start ringing that damn bell for everything again. Well, I wish you luck. I need to head back to the Ministry now. Thank you, Doctor. Have a nice evening. You too. The doctor was in Techno Babylon. He was Fearless Phil. Oh. The guy. That was the guy in the nuclear uh, blast simulation, right? Okay. 
Okay, can I? Don't I don't think drawing a tin. Okay. I can't just. <clears throat> All right, what can we do here? Seduce the butler. <laughs> So I can look in the window, but I can't do anything once I'm looking in the window. He's got quite the artist's touch. These two nice looking bird. Although, I'm not sure what kind that's supposed to be. Is that an emu or an ostrich or something? Seduce the butler, that's the, uh... <laughs> uh, that's what everybody thinks I should do, right? Okay. So, a bucket? A bucket? I don't think he'd no. be a Okay, I tried everything. Like... <laughs> that's my entire list of how I seduce people. I'm just like, bucket? Granted, usually it's a bucket of chicken or, you know, something that has something useful on it. Apply your private parts directly to the butler. Uh, I don't have that in my inventory, Phil. Those vines are way too flimsy. They're creeping up a sec. Make sure you can't get in through a window. I might be able to break it somehow. I don't see how. But I don't. I don't know. I don't see my cast iron bucket. I don't see. Maybe huh. it's. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I haven't got time to go rifling through kitchen drawers. Okay. Ugh, there are snails in here. Rich people are weird. I've already got a weapon. I don't think I'll be needing any more salt. I'm sure no one will notice one missing ladle. Alright, I got a ladle. This could come in handy if I decide to start up a soup kitchen. I'm not the maid. Okay, so I think I probably still need the uh, sleeping pills, right? I'm no baker. <laughs> I haven't got time. I was never my. They look stale. I wonder when these were made. I was never my. No time for cooking. Hmm. Smells good. The pot smells good. Hmm. Turkey. Well, nobody else is gonna eat it. Hmm. A little dry, but at least it's better than nothing. Okay. Oh, I didn't. That's enough for now. I'm sure they'll notice. <laughs> that is some sweet smoke effect on that teapot. I was never much of. Someone made tea recently. Yay, she ate. The Russian lady won't be that upset with her now. Okay, so... Oh, wait. We just felt the towels? We're not gonna take them or anything? So what do we do with the ladle? That seems to be the only I've thing that we can take. Ugh. Wipe your greasy turkey hands. Ladle the pot. The snail pot? I don't see how I can use that there. Apply the ladle directly to the butler. <laughs> uh, oh, this pot over here. Mm -hmm, tomato. So, I break into this rich guy's house just to eat all his food. 
<laughs> I don't see how I can use this ladle on a pot. Uh, An odd place to store a sack of flour. Can I get a, I don't see a bucket of any of this? Not, Wait, what? That's not a good ingredient for soup. Okay. So I'm guessing there's got to be a way to get those sleeping pills from the butler, right? <clears throat> put the soup in the butt in the bucket. That's not uh, she's wanting to put something into the soup. You can get the pills in the soup. Yeah. That's that's what I'm thinking, but we still have to get a hold of the pills. So, can I we don't get need one? No. Ah, oh, that's nice. I haven't got time. It's veggies hanging from the ceiling. Oh, I didn't even see those. No, it looks like they're just, uh. Oh, wait, a bell. Okay. So, this is the bell that the guy rings from his bed. So, maybe I can ring it. Yeah, okay. Current theory. Ring the bell, hop out the window, wait for him to come in, and then... to be determined. The bell is oh, I used the ladle on the bell to reach it. Well, that didn't do much. Not run away. Okay, so he can't hear the bell from out here. Hmm. I don't think drawing attention to myself. Butler doesn't give a shit about your bell. Yeah, that's apparent. <clears throat> okay, but I can ring the bell. The bell does not make it to the butler, but we need him to hear the bell. Can we open the window? There we go. Okay, now we can use the bell. Maybe he'll hear it. <sighs> hey. Oh shit! Run away! Wait! Give me a chance to run away! <laughs> okay. I don't think that would. I don't think I'll be able to just walk right into the man. I can't do much with. Oh wait, I, I probably should- no, 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 don't go in. Don't do it! You bitch! Oh, I need to go to the bedroom window. Because that's where he'd go if the bell was... being... You on. rang for me, sir? About ten minutes ago? What on earth took you so long? I was... Never mind the excuses. Just give me one of those sleeping pills the doctor gave you. Yes, sir. Will you be wanting it with your usual lemon and elderberry tea? That's fine. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll return shortly. All right. <clears throat> Finally. I thought he'd never get to sleep. Quietly now. We'll be taking so now this. An old man's only means of getting more vaccine. I really hope there's something in the ministry worth finding, Danton. Yoink! Oh, I want his shoes. I can't take his shoes though. He may be a crotchety old geezer, but I can't help but feel sorry for him. I have more important things to do than watch an old man sleep. I'd really rather not get too close. Steal his wallet. <laughs> I can't, unfortunately. Can you hit him with the ladle? I don't think he'd be. 
He wouldn't be interested in getting hit with the ladle. Oh, no. FYI. Uh, oh no, shit. Please. Of all the times. Yeah. What? Uh, who's there? Uh. Shit. Ophelia? Is that you? Wait, what? They, they told me you were dead. Oh my dear Ophelia, come back to take care of me. I'm sick. I knew you would. Her, Are you there? Her I portrait know. just pops up real quick with no text. That was a little too close. Okay, so is he sick and delirious and on drugs, or was that just some sort of major plot revelation? <laughs> we don't even care, just, <laughs> just for shits and giggles. Shoot everyone and beat everyone with ladles. Okay. He thought Amy was his dead wife, he's on drugs. Okay. That's what I thought, but you, you can never be too sure. <laughs> He's obviously having an ambient fit, and he won't remember anything about this, and he's likely to have bouts of weird munchies. Uh, okay, uh, we need to go to Ministry of Medicine. Even if it wasn't... So we show him the card. The card is for Silas Harrison. Okay. This card says that Silas Harrison is entitled to an evaluation with a Dr. Elliot Collins. Oh, so it's not gonna be as easy as just being like, Hey, I'm Silas' servant. Gimme. Give Gimme give drugs. Drug me now. Maybe Danton can give you butler clothes? I can go try checking out the rebel hideout again. Or you can trick Max into pretending to be Silas. I don't know, he's just some random guy that we met. I'm not sure if we could be like, here, let's commit, you know, probably a felony. But, you know, I gave you alfalfa sprouts, so it's pretty much we're good, right? Is that an Allen wrench? Yep. Scavenged it out in the waste. I got lucky. I'll say you did. I've been looking for one for ages. Can let you borrow this one once I'm done with it, if you need it. Felony schmelony. She gonna no yell at me again? No more time for idle chat now, Amy. Get I don't think she... Need any help with that? Nah, I'm all right. Okay, I guess we can go try talking to Max. We don't really have a better idea at the moment. Denby? Hmm. Well, Dimby can forge signatures, but we need more than a signature, right? We need somebody that is gonna be Silas. Hey, Denby. Yeah? I'll just leave you to- Thanks. Denby, you mentioned before you were good at copying handwriting. Yeah, sure. Do you think you could copy this doctor's writing? Shouldn't uh, be a problem. What do you need me to do? Say that the servant can pick Change it up. Change the name on this card to mine. Oh, ah, yeah, okay. easy. Just give <laughs> I me guess two that minutes. works too. There you go. Hey, nice job. Thanks. Don't get into any trouble, then. I j it's not like I have some government issued ID, though, so what is going to matter?
All right. <laughs> what a nice, well-mannered young man. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? I am here to see Dr. Collins. Is that so? I assume you have an appointment? Yes, I I've got my card right here. So you do. All right, I'll open the door for you. You'll be checked in and directed to his office. Enjoy your day, and I hope you'll feel better. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, this jump rope rhymes. I listened to all of them. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Uh, hello, miss. May I help you? I've got an appointment with Dr. Collins. I see. Is there a problem? Uh, well, how can I put this kindly? You don't exactly look like our normal type of visitor. What does that mean? It's just the way you're dressed. It's not typical of the people we normally see here. How exactly did you get your appointment, if I may ask? Oh, uh... Uh... <laughs> Busted! Wasn't expecting Amy's voice actor to sing them. That was a nice surprise. Yeah, she actually had a nice voice, too. I mean, she it wasn't like she was just butchering the lines. Password? <laughs> I guess it's because I've got the perfect life. What? Is Danton stupid? What? <laughs> Didn't she at least tell you to get a disguise? Well, she did, actually, but I found a better way. You do realize how much you stand out, right? If you try and see the doctor looking like that, they'll call security and have you escorted out. Then they'll start asking me questions about why I let you in, and things will only escalate from there. So, any ideas on how I can get a disguise? I'll have to think about it. Just don't go any further into the Ministry until we figure something out. I think. I think by the time we got through that area, people wanted to crossbow a little girl too. But that's not an elite crowd. We pretty much want to crossbow everyone at some point. <laughs> Who's this we we're talking about? Hey. What can I- So have you thought of a place to get a disguise yet? Honestly, the only place I can think of would be the staff locker room. It's just down the hall. Hopefully you won't run into anybody on the way there. Just look it up on the directory so you know where to go. And be extremely careful. If my cover gets blown because of you- I'll be discreet, I promise. The uh, Grundislav is Francisco Gonzalez. He is the main developer, designer, writer for this game. Is the central storage room accessible from here? Sorry, I don't know. They keep the location secret. I'm not at a high enough rank to have that information. What's that panel used for? It's a directory. Navigating the ministry can be a bit daunting, so it's designed to ease the process. People still manage to get lost, though. I don't know why they made this place so confusing. Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. <laughs> Disguise yourself <laughs> as a crossbow. Go home, Phil. You're drunk. <laughs> Go home, Phil. I'm drunk. It is definitely a pleasure to uh, play through these games, man. Did you have any hand in uh, Primordia and Techno Babylon? I'm not sure like how how much involvement you have in other Wadjet Eye games as a whole. I got more wine foo <laughs> from my waifu. 
Different Welcome developers, to okay. I only ask because even like even that being the case, they all have a familiar feel to them. Like they're all really well done. They all have that that same feel to them. So I don't know what goes into that if that's on purpose or if that's just an outcome of using the AGS engine itself. Uh, I'd like some directions, please. Please say the name of the room you would like directions to. Staff locker room. Ben Chandler did the art for Shardlight and Techno Babylon. Okay, so that's why they're so similar. <clears throat> I am a big fan of his work. Both of these games have been done very well. The staff locker room? One moment, please. Walk down the hall two meters, then make a left. Do you require further directions? Dr. Collins' office. One moment, please. Follow the west wing hallway three doors down, then make two rights, followed by a sharp left. It is the fourth door on the left. Do you require further directions? Central storage. One moment, please. Error. Password required. I'm sorry. You do not have proper clearance to access that information. Do you require further directions? <clears throat> I think it's a combination of them being classic adventures and also because Dave Gilbert, the guy who runs Wadjet Eye, is pretty hands-on as a publisher, so he makes suggestions and stuff. Gotcha. Okay. Definitely a fan, and I'm probably going to end up going through all of the games. Like, I, I, I'm just putting them in a list, trying to decide what order to play them all. So it's it's tough. This one definitely stood out, though. As soon as I uh, finished Techno Babylon, I saw this one. Actually, I think it was right after I started Techno Babylon, I saw this one. I was like, that one looks really cool. But then I played Primordia, and then I played uh, another indie Nothing game. Else. Thanks. Thank you for using this directory. But I've I've definitely been been looking forward to this one for a while. Band has a game called Anime Face that looks cool. <laughs> I think I'd get hopelessly lost if I just wandered around the ministry. There has to be some me- What do you mean? I just got the directions! Welcome to- Do I have to just click- Oh, okay. That's how you get around. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? She just gave me the directions! Not wandering- wandering aimlessly. Another one of those handy ministry directory terminals. Let's see what we've got in here. Let's dig hmm. through the garbage. Nothing much except a pair of shoes. They look like they might fit. Okay, so I'm gonna build this outfit one piece at a time. Well, it's a start. Attention employees. Please remember to lock your valuables in the provided lockers. The Ministry is not responsible for lost or stolen property. Mm. I'm so, 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 so happy you're right-clicking on stuff. You'd be shocked at how many people don't. Actually, I started doing that because um, one of the first games that I streamed uh, recently, it was called The Dark Eye Chains of Satanov. Um, there was a puzzle I was stuck on for the longest time because, specifically, one thing that I tried clicking on, I had to right-click on it to look at it instead of left-click to interact. So now I'm sure to try both if the game supports that. <laughs> Probably the reason I switched to a one-click interface for Lamplight City. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, simplicity's key, so I can understand the decision behind that. These are a pair of men's shoes. I was actually, um, Primordia was a one-click 
interface as well. I think, wasn't it? I've already got a bucket, and I'm not in the mood to start cleaning anything up. But yeah, I'm <clears throat> I'm pretty fine with the games that are just a uh, either a one click or left click, right click, as opposed to the ones that you have to use specific actions like look, talk, push, pull, etc., etc. I'm not about to start mopping floors. Good night, Phil. Thank you for sticking around, man. Have a good night. The label on this tin says, it's Astro Brand Powder Disinfectant Cleanser. Okay, disinfectant. The label on this bottle says, it's Achilles Brand Floor Cleaner. Floor Cleaner. Looks soft and... Oh. Oh, I can just pick it up. <laughs> can I open all these lockers? Locked, of course. Locked, of course. Locked. I sense anti-Sierra blasphemy. I'm not sure I like that kind of talk. No, I'm not saying that I dislike the old, like, text parser games, because that's what I grew up on. I grew up on Police Quest and King's Quest and all the ones where you have to figure out, well, shit, what, do this, what does this game actually want me to type out? So I'm definitely not trying Locked. to say that those games are Locked. bad. I'm just saying it's, you know, I don't mind it. It's it's fine. Lock. This one is empty, but I can see the lock mechanism and it's surprisingly simple. It shouldn't be too tough to jimmy one of these open. I just need something thin to get in the door frame. Ah. Okay, so I look I examined the open one to learn how the lock works, and now I can use something to get the others open. Oh, that's cool. It kind of circles around in the inventory. There's not a beginning and an end. Locked. Pick the locks. I'm going to try as soon as I have something that I can use. I haven't got a complete outfit. Oh, okay. So that's where I go to change. Mouse wheel scrolls the inventory too. Ah, okay. Thank you for that. I I didn't realize that. I would have just clicked on the button. The Ministry seems like a pretty tight ship. I don't think I'll be able to disguise myself in this doctor's coat without raising any suspicions. But let's just see if there's anything in the pocket. Nope, nothing. Oh well, it was... Can you pick it with your appointment card or lottery ticket? <clears throat> I'm assuming not. Um, I'm assuming these are all paper, That's not going and that this card. Uh, let's see. This should do the trick. Oh, and never mind. Too bad. Okay, I am completely wrong. I thought that these were paper, so whatever. <laughs> Nothing in here but a soggy old towel. Definitely. There are clothes in here, but they're way too big for me. Aha! This set of clothes looks promising. Uh, is it a complete set? <clears throat> Can I go change now? Right. I'd better make this quick. <laughs> oh, that was nice. I can't remember the last time I took a hot shower. I'm too sexy for my clothes. Too sexy for my clothes. Welcome to the mystery. Okay. <clears throat> 640 by 400, twice of shard lights. <clears throat> hey. Hey, now that's more like it. You blend right in. What can I help you with? Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Hey. What? Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here Okay. Welcome to the mystery. Watch it, Eyes. Next game is also a high resolution. Is that uh, unavowed? Because that's another one that I'm very closely watching. <laughs> this looks like something someone would have in their home, not at a doctor's office. She looks bored. Who 
who knows how long she's been waiting here. <laughs> Since she's had brown hair. He doesn't exactly look thrilled to be here, but then I can't really blame him. What was that, uh, that, ge that other game that you worked on, Francisco? A Golden Wake? We'll have to put that on the list as well. <clears throat> That's one that I've I heard the name of, but I haven't looked into what it's like or what the setting is, anything like that. I'm not sticking my hand in there. Soothing, although to be honest, now I kind of have to go to the bathroom. So she's not sticking her hand in there, but do we still have the ladle? No. Rip. Oh, a bucket. <laughs> I don't see how No. This seems like it might be interesting reading material. Go oh, sure. For over 25 years, the Ministry of Medicine has been providing nothing but the best in healthcare for citizens. With the support given by the population and their generous donation of time and resources, the Ministry has been able to make progress in great amounts. With, su with continued support, it may be possible to reach pre-bomb conditions within the next 5 to 10 years. We at the Ministry encourage you to consider donating whatever you can spare in order to further our research. In exchange, you will be provided with exclusive treatment options and resources, unlike anything available to the lesser classes. Contact the Ministry today to make your donations. It's a historical fiction set during the 1920s land boom. You play a real estate agent who gets involved in wacky history hijinks set in Miami. Did I get a uh, good old games account? Yes, I did. <clears throat> so that that kind of setting reminds me of um, uh, Gold Rush, which I'm sure Rabbit, Dark World Rabbit, at least has heard of since he's a very big Sierra uh, fan. This is comfortable, but kind of pointless right now. Uh, the account's the um, same email address as my Instagram. <laughs> you don't randomly die of cholera in a golden wake, though. Dude, what was it <clears throat> in Gold Rush? You could just, like, die of... Was it cholera? You, like, eventually get on the ship to go across the ocean and you just die because you forgot to do something in the first 10 minutes of the game. Something like that. It's been years since I've played that, though. No need. I'd hate to be that poor guy on the right. A recruiting poster for the vaccine lottery. I can't deny it's an effective campaign. <laughs> everything is Sierra. You can die of everything. Yes, may I help you? Yes. You can. I've got the perfect life. I just want you to know, I've got the perfect <laughs> life. Well, obviously you don't if you're seeing a doctor, but I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> How many people in this game think that my character is really dumb? Love the older games like that. Gold Rush, Police Quest, Queen's Cut, King's Quest, Zack McCracken, Maniac Mansion, Leisure Suit Larry. <clears throat> Dude. Do any of you guys remember um, Iceman? Codename Iceman? I think it's a Sierra one. If it's not Sierra, then it's one that feels exactly like those old school games. I'm here to see Dr. Collins. Do you have your appointment card? Uh, yes. It's right here. Great. Hmm. Amy Wellard. I don't seem to have you in the registry. Is this your first visit? Yes. Okay, not a problem. Just fill out this form for me, have a seat, and we'll call you in shortly. Thanks. You mean submarine simulator of pain? Yes, we don't talk about Iceman. I haven't played it in probably close to 20 years. Like I was, I was a very 
very young last time I played it. <clears throat> I'm just worried they're going to give him the maximum punishment. I don't know what to tell you. The aristocracy doesn't take kindly to that sort of thing. Have you been able to speak with him? No. They took him in for questioning yesterday. Not even family can see him until they decide what they're going to do. I guess the worst case scenario is he ends up in Rockwall for a few years. I can't believe he could be so selfish as to not even consider what this will do to his family. What am I supposed to tell my grandchildren? No, your daddy won't be home for Christmas because he was selling counterfeit lottery tickets to poor people. Yikes. At least they'll know not to do what he did. So, hey, Francisco, did you work on resonance Weller, at all? You can go inside. Dr. Collins will be in to see you momentarily. Oh, and if you need to schedule a follow-up appointment, don't forget to speak to me afterwards. Nope. No on resident, uh, resonance. Okay. I bought Shard Light and Resonance in like a bundle from good old game, so I didn't know if they were related in any way. Vince Wesselman. <clears throat> you only made a Golden Wake in Shard Light. Okay. I wasn't sure because like, your name shows up in the Wadjet Eye like, um, about page for all of the people that work on the game, so I wasn't sure. Waifu attack. Good night, everybody. You going to bed? Yeah. Okay. Hey, good night, waifu. Good night, waifu. Call me. Dave needs to up that, update that. <clears throat> Doesn't look very comfortable. So you're not officially with Wadjet? Are you uh, just by yourself now doing your own thing? Or do you have an actual, uh, like a studio that you're running or a part of, something like that? I guess that's supposed to be a drawing of a brain? I was hired as a full-time developer while I was on Shardlight, but I left the company after Shardlight came out. Oh, okay. <clears throat> None of this makes any sense to me. Bodies aren't exactly my area of expertise. Must be where the doctor washes his hands. I guess this must be an experiment of some kind. Just me now. I'm currently looking for a new publisher for Lamplight. Okay. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to that one. <clears throat> I've been kind of following along on your updates on Twitter. Do you ever do, like, um, development streams or anything like that? Because I'd definitely be interested in seeing some of those if you ever do that. There's nothing on it to examine. I don't need them. Mm. From time to time, I did one last week. Okay, cool. I'll be sure to follow you to make sure that I catch the next one. Probably do another one next week or maybe this weekend if I get bored. Okay, so if you do them this weekend, I will definitely uh, tune in with my full attention. Otherwise, if you do it during the week, I'll probably tune in at work and at least listen while I'm working. But yeah, it's definitely something I really want to do. I'm no doctor. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I've seen one of these before, I think. Doctors use them to listen to people's hearts. I don't think one of these... This jar looks like it's full of candy. Well, maybe just one won't <laughs> hurt. Yes, take all the candy. The doctor would definitely miss this. She's pretty. I wonder who she is. It says, I love you, Dr. C. And it's signed, I.S. No. <clears throat> there aren't any messes to wipe up, though. I don't need any soap. I just had a shower. I don't need any soap. No, I think the dirt under my fingernails. <laughs> the doctor will notice if I take this. I need another way of keeping this information. I will say the uh, the voice acting in this game is actually pretty good. <clears throat> compared to some of the games that I've played before. The doctor will notice if I take this. I probably shouldn't mess around with that. Like it doesn't give the obvious, what is it, Oblivion NPC interaction feel. <laughs> I 
I should probably wait until the doctor gets here before I shouldn't. Okay, so I'm waiting for the doctor. I'd really. But I'm. I'd I'm sure there's a trigger that I have to hit before he comes. There is nothing on it to examine. I'm no doctor. They're mostly medical textbooks. Sit on the chair. I can't target the chair. That's that was the first thing I looked at. I think. <clears throat> So Francisco, what was the total development time for this game from beginning to end? What would you say, like from from when you started writing it to when it was released? Some body part or system that I'm completely unfamiliar with. They're mostly medical textbooks. A little under two years. Oh, okay. <clears throat> They're mostly med. I guess that's supposed to be... None of this makes any sense to me. Hmm. I'm not getting near... I'm no doctor. A cross-section of a human head. The clock? No, can't tell you that one either. I'm owing to. It's alright. If we were keeping score, like, I wouldn't want to know what my score is for all the games that I've streamed so far. <clears throat> HEW came out in October 2014. Oh, is it that new? I thought it was, it's been out for a while. I already had more or less the general design for Shardlight at that point, and Shardlight came out in March 2016. Okay. They'll think something's wrong if I leave now. I bet. Is there something I have to do here? <clears throat> I think I've tried to interact with everything else, so there's got to be something that I do, maybe with an item that I have. <clears throat> All right, let's do an item recap here. We have. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Okay. I had to see how the mouse wheel interacted. We have a crossbow, a lottery ticket, floor cleaner, brochure, bleach powder, a rag, a bucket, a pistol, medical form. Wait, medical form? A blank medical form? I don't know what half the stuff they're asking on here even means. Crossbow, lottery ticket, floor cleaner, brochure, bleach powder, rag, bucket, pistol, medical form, crossbow, lottery ticket, Floor cleaner brochure. Okay, <laughs> we've already looped around. Shoot crossbow at medical form. <laughs> or bleach. I'm not sure how. Use the medical form on the notepad. Oops. Wait, what notepad? Did you look at the notepad? Oh, notepad here. The doctor here. will notice if I take that. There's lots of scribbles and notes on here. Hmm. There's one that says, This week's CS password equals next week's surgery. Ah. That's probably important. I'll just copy it down. Aha! See? That's where the importance of left click versus right click comes in. <laughs> Crossbow is the answer to everything. There's lots of script. Hmm. There's this one that says this week's CS. Next the week's the surgery. <clears throat> what is CS? There's hmm. This There's week's one CS said, password. Computer screen. It says, I love you, Dr. C. Computer something? <laughs> S, computer something. Central storage. Oh shit, you're right, okay. Yeah, central storage requires a password. Good thinking. Good afternoon, Miss Wellard. Hello, Dr. Collins. I've been informed that this is your first visit, is that right? Yes, that's right. You look 
somewhat familiar. Are you sure you haven't been here before? Yes, I'm sure. You must just have one of those faces. In any case, what are you here for today? I have green lung. The symptoms started about a week ago. I see. If you'll just have a seat on the examination table, I'll do a quick checkup and administer your vaccine dose. There you are. You should notice a decrease in symptoms within the hour. Thank you, Doctor. Hey! Oh, Miss Wellard? Yes? I swore an oath to do no harm and heal the sick, so I would never turn away someone seeking vaccine. Are we busted? But I'd like to offer you a suggestion. When sneaking around other people's houses, don't stand so close to the windows. I'm sure you're aware of the consequences if you were Shit. ever caught. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Good guy doctor doesn't kill my ass. You may or may not have been seen. Seen me loitering outside an old man's bedroom window. Pay no mind. Oh, man. <laughs> he really did notice you. I was making a joke. Oh, you cursed me, rabbit. Hippocratic oath. Yeah, I am so lucky. Okay. So. The password is next week's surgery. We need like a schedule, right? Oh, we need to... We need to schedule a follow-up after that by talking to her, so maybe that'll give us an idea of what next week's surgery is. Yes? May I help you? I was told to schedule a follow-up appointment. Of course. Let me just show you our calendar, and you can pick a date that works best for you. Alright, there's a calendar. Shit. What is today? Today's the 9th? There's already something scheduled on that day. Oh, what is it? It says, Surgery, Paul Scott, Medulla Oblongata. It says, Surgery, Medulla Paul oblongata. Scott, Medulla Oblongata. And what's the name? It says, Surgery, Paul, Paul Scott. Scott, Medulla Oblongata. Like the Adam Sailor movie. <laughs> Says that they're grumpy because they have all them teeth, but no toothbrush. He's gonna make a crocodile angry with surgery. <laughs> yeah. How do I, uh... Wait. Oh, okay, Saturday and Sunday's crossed off because they're the weekends. How about this date? Perfect. I'll pencil you in. All set. See you soon, Miss Wellard. Sucker. Welcome to the Mystery of Miss. Uh, Please. Central One. Era, I'm sorry. Do you require Medulla Oblongata? Uh, medulla Oblongata? Password accepted. One moment, please. Central storage is located to the left of the administrative cafeteria. It is the unmarked door next to the cleaning closet. Do you require further directions? Nothing else. Thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. Alright. <laughs> okay, so this game so far is probably gonna tie me with Primordia for my favorite. Like, Techno Babylon was really good. Primordia extremely good and then this one I haven't beaten it yet but it is doing really well so far really liking it well if someone was careless enough to leave this box cutter here we'll just go with the old finders keepers rule I feel like you need to have the pink panther music playing right now for your sneaky stuff going on <laughs> but um but um but um Bottom, 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 bottom. Where's Jeff? Is he still around? <laughs> this must be where the crates wind up going. I wonder what's on the other side of the wall. I don't think this chute will open manually. Got another terminal to use. Open storage drawer. 
He's asleep in his seat. <laughs> oh no. Um. I don't have any of these codes. I don't think opening this door, that is one huge metal door. There has to be something fairly important on the other side. Set something on fire? What is with you guys and just like shooting things and setting things on fire and destroying things in general? As tempting as it is to go trolley surfing, I should focus on the task at hand. Still in shock over the doctor noticing you. Next thing you'll tell me is the birds really do eat the two gossipy women. <laughs> oil rag and flintlock. The oil and rag and flintlock. Oh! It's nice and soft. I don't have oil though. I have bleach I don't powder. Want to get the rag full of cleaner. Mm. Astro brand disinfectant bleach powder. Simply pour on stains, scrub, and watch them vanish. Warning. Do not use on silver, painted surfaces, walls, aluminum, or rubber. Wait, I, I picked up two things though, right? Floor cleaner. I don't want to get the... Achilles brand floor cleaner. Achilles has no weaknesses when it comes to fighting dirt. Warning. Flammable. Maybe just the flint rock, flint lock and rag. Um, I'm not sure how... A uh, stamp. Maybe I can cut a I'm piece of it sure. off? It's nice and... Hmm... Okay, so there is a smoke detector. So I think you're on the right path for creating an emergency. So there's a smoke detector, an alarm, and the wire goes down there. This section of wire runs from the alarm out into the hallway. I guess it connects to the rest of the alarm system. On logical track, we just gotta figure it out. Yeah, I agree. I guess they put this in here as a part of the emergency detection system. Looks as though the terminal is connected to that alarm bell via this wire. Hmm. As tempting as it is, I'm guessing this is what- Do I have to use anything with the trolley? There is a chute there. I think this shoot. This must be where the crates wind up going. I where else does the wire go? I don't know. Let's see if we can actually follow it out. Welcome to the I don't think that we can follow it. Welcome to the can we get what's his face to trigger the alarm? The reception guy? Maybe. Welcome to the see if we can. Get him to help us anymore. Hey. What can I help? Thanks for your- It's what I'm here- Nope. I Use the trolley a as a scooter. That won't help, but it's always what? fun. <laughs> hmm. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's a five digit. <clears throat> Maybe the staff locker had it? <clears throat> I guess I could go back to the staff locker and see if there's anything else that I missed. Welcome to the, mi the ministry seems. I don't see the wire or anything like that, though. Could I, uh, I'm gonna try opening, ah oh, shit, do I have the, I don't have the appointment card anymore to open any of the other things. I shouldn't mess with it any further. I have a feeling that <clears throat> there's probably not much more to do in here. I might be wrong, but that's my feeling at the moment. Is there anything that we missed in reception? 
What are those supposed to be? I shouldn't touch it. It's an adventure game. Touch everything. It's kind of hypnotic. <clears throat> Is that what the wig heads look like without their masks? If so, I can see why they never take them off. <laughs> Giant wa white balls, duh. No way. Okay. Welcome to so let's go back to central storage and do another quick item review. Whoops, wrong portrait. Is there Welcome. another portrait that I should be examining? Welcome to let's go to the office and take a look at some of these posters. The aristocracy. Got a recruiting poster for the vaccine lottery. I I'd hate to be that poor. Her portrait changed back to her old clothes when he looked at the painting. Welcome. Oh, I see what you're saying. Just a bug. Okay. No way. Oh, I How see it. <laughs> Just a facial portrait. Okay. I thought you were, you were giving me a hint there. I was like, hmm, okay, I'm doing something wrong. I gotta look at a painting. <laughs> And it's funny that you just like you realize like you notice that sort of thing. Hey. What can I help you with? Thanks for your It's what I'm So did that change it back permanently? It seems to be everything that I Please don't look at now. <laughs> wrong wrong doggy portrait. Don't let the Steam reviewers know it'll lower the rating. Welcome. Hmm. Okay, so item review. <clears throat> a box cutter, which we just got. We got in this room right here, so that is the newest thing. A rag, bleach powder, brochure, floor cleaner, lottery ticket, crossbow, medical form, pistol, and a bucket. I'm not sure. My cast. A standard box cutter. The blade is pretty sharp. Okay, so maybe we can cut the wire? If I cut this wire, I don't know if the terminal will affect anything in the room. Ah. Well, now if the alarm goes off, the alert will at least be limited to this room. Got it. Rating 0 of 5. Game Maker is awesome. Lots of puzzles. Very nostalgic feeling. Captures feeling of perfect game, but wrong talky picture. So bad. Never again. Yep. Okay. Emergency override. No emergency detected? Maybe I can do like some sort of system lockout? Hmm. Should I cut another wire? I can't reach this wire, but I don't think I should cut it anyway. Your wrong picture's better than my talkie picture. I don't have a talkie picture. <laughs> Next week's surgery. I already did that. That's how I got in this room, is I did the medulla oblongata as the password so that I can get directions to this room. Gotta be something to do with this trolley, right? I'm guessing this is what they use to transport the crates around. I don't see how I... <laughs> I wrote down what it said on the doctor's notepad. This week's CS password equals next week's surgery. Yeah. So I think we've done that. As far as that that is concerned, I think that is already run its course. 
I might be wrong, but that's just what I think. Maybe we can set the brochure on fire. Um... Achilles brand floor cleaner. Achilles has no weaknesses when it comes to fighting dirt. Warning, flammable. Do not store at temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius. Hmm. Not a bad idea, but I should put this stuff inside something first. Oh, maybe put it all in the bucket because it's heat resistant. The pistol is, should be. Hold on, wait. <clears throat> I'd rather not. It's nice. Ah! Brochure in the bucket. Something tells me this brochure will be more useful in here. God bless the bucket, right? Um, where's the floor floor cleaner? Okay. Okay, let's get some of this cleaner in the bucket. And then the pistol is only should be. Use the pistol. I should put this thing down somewhere before. My cat on the got trolley, perhaps. Trolley. I don't see how I. Trolley, trolley. I don't think that. I don't think that will have much of an effect on the alarm. How am I gonna... Oh, on the this floor. Like how about spot? that? We'll just put it on the fucking floor. <laughs> oh, god damn. I'm so stupid. Okay, this should work. Oh, crap. What was I thinking? That was a close one. I need to find a way to stop the alarm from going off. What? I did, didn't I? Yeah, it changed back. My uh, oh, yeah, it did change back. <laughs> Pulling on the wire might trigger the alarm. If I cut this wire, I don't. I can't reach this wire. Stuff the vent with a rag. <clears throat> the vent isn't a interactable object. Oh wait, I'll put the rag between the little arm and the bell, right? There. Hell yeah. That should muffle the alarm if it goes off. Okay. Now we're cooking. Here goes nothing. That dun, did dun, it. Dun, 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 dun. I'll put out the fire before it gets out of control. Okay. My god. There's enough vaccines stored in here to treat the entire population for years. Danton was right. The government has been lying to everyone all along. This isn't right at all. The people need to know the truth. Vaccine horde. Ah, shit! Amy Wellard, by order of the aristocracy, you are under arrest for trespassing on private property, breaking and entering, theft, and tampering with official Ministry of Medicine documentation. <laughs> it wasn't I'm me. I'm sure there's been some kind of misunderstanding. Our orders are quite clear. You are hereby ordered to come with us for detention in Rockwall Prison. Don't I at least get some kind of trial first? We're here to escort you to Rockwall, not to answer questions. If you do not cooperate, we have authorization to shoot you on the spot. You are also ordered to return those stolen clothes to their proper location before leaving the Ministry. Yikes. <laughs> Fine. Sigh. Let's go. Wellard, we've got a visitor. Oh, it's Tiberius. Good evening. Tiberius, you can't let them keep me here. I'm very sorry, my dear, but things are a bit complicated. I came to explain your position. Go on, then. I'm listening. Do you remember the day we were bombed, Miss Wellard? I can recall it quite well. I was young, but yes, I was in school. I lost a lot of friends that day. My mother, too. My condolences. 
You are aware that the reason we were attacked was for control of petroleum and mineral supplies, yes? Sure, but what has that got to do with anything? Rebuilding our society has not been an easy task. We still have much to do. Of utmost importance is maintaining order. Do you understand this? Then why are you telling people supplies of vaccine are limited? You could help everyone and work on finding a permanent cure. Yes, <laughs> you are correct. And if we were to cure the population and allow our society to thrive once more, what do you suppose would happen next? Um, things would be great, right? It would be great. People could live normal lives again, not have to worry about scavenging or dying of the plague. Of course, and when a rival nation caught wind of that prosperity, decided we had something they wanted? Um... We would be attacked, experience the horror of war all over again. I would not wish the bombings we experienced on my worst enemy. I cannot let that happen again. I will not let it happen again. Do you understand me, Miss Wellard? I'm aware that the current system is not perfect. There is a clear class divide, but we are not tyrants. The aristocracy has always striven to care for the citizens who provide aid, despite their circumstances. In any case, I am genuinely sorry that things had to turn out this way. You did perform your job quite well, perhaps too well. I was just doing as you asked. I asked you to infiltrate the rebels and gain their trust. I did warn you that my protection could only go so far. You could easily have come back to me and informed me of Danton's plans to invade the Ministry. She threatened to have me killed if I set foot anywhere near your tower. What was I supposed to do? Informed one of my guards, sent along someone you trusted with the information. Though it hardly matters now, I've gotten all the information I need. But how? With this. A gold ball on a string? A clever listening device my soothsayer came up with. It was placed in the handle of your crossbow. I have been tracking you in order to ensure I learned the location of Danton's hideout. Oh, You've shit. been spying on me this whole time? Why didn't you just tell me you were listening in? It was a test of loyalty, and unfortunately, you failed. It's truly a pity. I would have loved to give you your payment. You could have continued spying, opened up a mechanic shop, serving the government. Alas, I, I cannot reward criminal behavior. It would not be looked upon favorably by the public. We would lose the support of citizens like Mr. Harrison. So what, you're just leaving me in here to rot? I'm afraid not. Order must be preserved. I find myself forced to tie up loose ends. Danton and her rebels will be eliminated. As for you, it really does pain me to have to do this. But the truth is, I have no choice in the matter. You must be executed. What? Why? I understand this is difficult for you. However, my hands are tied. I simply cannot take the risk of keeping you alive. And what if I promise not to tell anyone about the vaccine horde? I'm afraid you've proven to me already that I can't trust you. In any case, I wish to thank you for your service. I'll make sure your execution is quick and painless. Goodbye, Miss Wellard. Again, I am quite sorry. Damn. Crossbow, how could you betray mm -hmm. us, faithful crossbow? Okay. Oh, man. That... Shit. Oh, it gets worse? Oh, man. My heart. That is unfortunate. Now death comes and sweeps us away. Okay, so. Man, that is... That sucks. And we will definitely figure out what happens next but it won't be tonight i've i've been streaming for over five hours now i've had so much fun with this game this has been so great i cannot wait to keep playing this so uh, i don't have a set schedule across the weekend but i will 
definitely be playing throughout the weekend. I I'm gonna play this game. I cannot stop playing this game. So, I'll probably be playing... Uh... Let's say tomorrow afternoon. I'm not sure when. Uh, maybe around noon? We'll... We'll aim for that. So, uh... We'll aim for sometime tomorrow afternoon. But I am so psyched to continue this game. I... I kind of don't want to stop tonight, but it's uh, I'm getting kind of tired and I want to give this my full attention. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this. I really appreciate you guys helping experiencing this story for the first time along with me. Thank you, Francisco, for this wonderful game. And, th and thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us. So, if you want to continue watching, I guess just uh, keep an eye out tomorrow. I don't have a set time, sometime in the afternoon, but I'll definitely continue playing. So, keep an eye out for when I go live. Be sure to drop me a follow. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I will, I will put uh, updates on my social media to let you guys know when I'm going to start. And I will be playing tomorrow. I will be probably be playing for a very long time tomorrow. Uh, so, thank you guys again. I hope I will see you back tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thanks again. Later. <laughs>